Hello, 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 everybody. How's it all going for you today? How's it all going for you? How is it going for you all today? Oh my gosh, I'm completely messed up that sentence. I really messed that up. What is going on? How you all doing? Happy Monday. So nice to see you all. Are you all ready to just vibe today? Absolutely vibe today. Welcome, welcome, welcome on in, everybody. Welcome on in, Calvin. Welcome on in, Reflex. Azzy, good morning. Spaghetti and meatballs are the best. Spaghetti and meatballs are fantastic. Crystal, welcome on in. Alex, Lisa, how you all doing? Amazed that you're actually streaming? Heck yeah, we are streaming today. So, chat, we have a couple of things to catch up on. A couple of things to catch up on. So, this is going to be our um, last stream before I go on vacation. Well, on YouTube anyway. Um, I am going to be going on vacation next week for 10 days. The game channel is very loud. Let me turn that down a little bit for you all. Um, so I'm going to be going on holiday for about 10 days. So we're going to miss next week's stream. However, I've got some great stuff planned for you uh, for videos. We've got lots of videos planned on this channel. I've got a couple more commentary long plays. Um, I do have a movie ready to go. I don't know if I'm gonna release that one yet though. I might wait for um, I might wait a little bit longer We'll see how we feel about that because we have hit about 500 ish days in this chill survival world and we do have um, We've got like quite a bit of content for a movie for this world However, I might wait until a thousand days. I'm not too sure yet. Not too sure. So um that one might come out, that one might not, but I have a bunch of uh, commentary long plays ready to go for you all. Uh, thank you so much, by the way, everybody, for all of the all of the like support on those videos. Well, the one video that I have, there's a there's a couple that are yet to be released, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad you all have liked that autumn long play. Um, I had a blast making it, so I made a couple more, and I'm just like really excited about those videos. It's super super fun. Moon. Oh my gosh, with the 499 moon. I was like kind of hiding right here. Moon, thank you so much for the 499. Can I get some big, big swags in chat? Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Enderman noises, gas noises, creeper noises. Oh, doesn't have the same effect, does it? It really doesn't. You know what? Guaranteed, I'm going to get scared today. Even without the sound alerts. <laughs> thank you so much, Moon. I really really appreciate it so rude that you abandoned us i know i know <laughs> so so rude but that's okay because i have a lot of good content for you guys planned let me catch up on chat really quickly i was feeding the cows i was busy in a task uh ba -ba 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 -ba. good to be back so so good i'm so excited yeah we um we missed last monday's stream because i had to catch up on a bunch of stuff uh after the charity stream and I was catching up on all of the videos. I'm well, not catching up, getting ahead on all the videos for you all for next week. I'm gonna have a lot of content for you all. Just before one shot, I know, I know. It really, really bad timing on that. Really bad timing. So we'll see what we'll see what happens with one shot because I'm gonna be missing like a pretty big chunk of it. Just kind of uh it just kind of fell that way. You deserve to relax, you legend. Aw, thank you so much. You taking a break? Not not an indefinite break, but we're I'm I'm going on a little holiday. Going on a little holiday. Sorry, just catching up on chat. I'll be back when I'm done with work. No worries, Moon. No worries. I hope uh, work goes well. I'm waiting for you in Italy for holidays. Oh my gosh, our friends are in Italy right now, and I felt I feel like they're having the time of their lives. They keep they keep um talking to us about what they're doing. Italy is a fantastic place. Fantastic place. I'd love to go back someday. Did I just confirm November's one shot? Did I confirm anything? No, no, no. I mean, what? No, I didn't confirm nothing. I didn't say anything. I did not say anything. No, I'll be there for one shot because it's not in November. <laughs> it's not in November. One shot is, I don't know when it is. Hope you all have a great evening day watching this while scanning important school stuff. Oh, Cassandra, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. I hope the school stuff is going well. Are you going anywhere or will it be a staycation? I am going. 
I'm going to the UK to visit my homie, Lockdown Builds, and his his fiance. We're gonna, well, Big Tiny Duck is obviously gonna be there too. Hi, Big Tiny Duck. We're going there, and it's gonna be super, super fun. It's gonna be a really fun time. Lisa, thank you so much for the five. Chat, you know what to do. Can I get a big, big swag in chat? for Lisa. Thank you so much. And noises. I went to sleep laughing after I uh, scared you on Twitch stream. What a great way to end my first Twitch. Have on have fun on the vacation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was so funny. I got very scared the last stream. Very, very scared. <laughs> Big tiny builds. Yeah. Block down duck. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to be absolutely vibing. So I have a plan for today. We're gonna, we're gonna fix this. This needs to turn into a bubble elevator. I figured we would fix this up and we would also kind of fix the mine shaft underneath as well. Uh, just cause it looks really bad right now. Like that looks pretty terrible. I do have some soul sand. I've got some kelp and we can make this thing just look so much better and also make it easier for us to get up and down. Going into the UK next year. So I hope I will see you. Oh man, who knows? Maybe I'll be back there by next year. We love we love it there. It's beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. What a wonderful place. When was last stream? Did I miss it? Okay, so we did... Our last stream here was Friday on YouTube. Last Friday. So... Oops, I forgot to get the soul sand. Hold on a second. Hold on a hot second. Um, So we did miss last Monday's stream. So we're going to be here today, just vibing. Um, and then next week, no stream, but we'll be back the week after. We will be back the week after, not to fret. We will definitely be, oh wait, no. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be back the week after because I'm, I'm still going to be gone. So I think we're going to be missing two streams on YouTube. That's okay though, that's okay. We're going we're gonna to have super, lots and lots of fun today. We're going to have lots of super fun content that's going to be um, on the channel for the week that I'm on holiday, and it's going to be a good time. Do I play on peaceful? No, I play on survival. There are some long plays that I play on peaceful, though. However, the commentary long play that I've been doing has been on survival as well. But peaceful is a great is a great um, a great mode to play on. I really do like playing on peaceful. You get to come visit me when I also get engaged. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing a happy engagement song. So beautiful, especially in the night when there are colorful lights. Ooh, colorful lights. All right, so let's uh let's get this bubble elevator started. I was waiting for Monday. I swear, check your account every hour because I love your lives. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I love being here. I love these lives as well. It felt, yeah, it felt like a long time um, since the last stream that we did. It Time just kind of like flies, you know? But then I was like booting up stream today and I was like, what? This feels so weird. It feels like we haven't streamed here in forever. Um, But what was I gonna say? What was I gonna say, chat? What was I gonna say? I completely forget. I had something to say and I forgot. Classic me. Okay. Oh, I forgot the soul sand again. I'm just so distracted right now because I got the kelp. I got all of the bone meal that I'm going to need. Oh, yeah. I, what I was going to say was, OK, so the last stream that we did was the charity stream for Gamers Outreach, right? And I just wanted to say another big thank you to everybody for that. It was such an incredible time. Big, big thank you from me and Froggy. Um, We ended up raising, I think, like, was it was it 1400 on this let me double check i want to double check what we raised it was it was just absolutely wild it was such a fun time and you all just completely came through and i just want to say thank you again it was 1400 dollars that we raised on this channel and then collectively me and froggy's community uh mine and froggy's communities raised 2572 for gamers outreach so i just wanted to say another big thank you all because it was just such a fun time and it just meant a lot. Like there was just so much support. It was so incredible and big, big thanks. Like completely from the bottom of our hearts. Like it was, it was incredible. You love Monday streams as you're off Fridays. Uh, eat into your sleep as I work nights. I feel that, I feel that. Love that, I love that you get the Mondays off to just chill and hang out with us. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Oops, okay. Now let's go down here. All right, ready? Ah, this makes me feel sick when I do this. Oh God, I don't like that. I'm so over having to do this. So, so over it. So let's pillar up here. So I guess this will be the part where we fall. This will be the part where we go up. I'm gonna have to break all of this. I'm just gonna pillar up anyway. Not gonna use anything too fancy. Probably just some like cobble and andesite. No biggie. No biggie. Rooks, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see you. Do you celebrate Halloween? My friend and I are gonna be ghosts. Okay, so I, I don't really go out for Halloween anymore just cause I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like I'm too old now. What am I gonna do? But uh, throughout the month of October, me and Big Tiny Duck watch a ton of scary movies. We love scary movies. It's been a couple days since we've watched some actually. We've been, we've kind of fallen off of that, but we've already watched quite a few, at least like five or six. And I don't really dress up for Halloween anymore, but I definitely do love, um, you know, staying home, watching movies, eating Halloween candy, because for some reason, those tiny little bits, like little chocolates are so much better than like full-size chocolate bars. What's what's that about? Why is it so much more enjoyable to eat that? Does anybody know the answer? That was a great stream. You and Froggy are so funny together. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. So glad you all enjoyed the chaos. <laughs> yeah, Froggy streams, <laughs> me and Froggy together are just pure chaos. Well, the best part is with that uh, charity stream, Y'all, we unlocked some good stuff. I think we're gonna be doing a holiday, uh, like co-op stream together. And then something else. I forget what the other thing is, <laughs> but I think, oh, played up. We're gonna be play playing played up together. So because we like completely blew, pa blew past our goals, we have a couple more uh, duo streams coming up with Froggy and it's gonna be a really fun time. Very excited. Way to go, that's so awesome. The money raised, heck yeah. Big, big GGs to the community. Big GGs. Their support was just absolutely incredible. Will Brookella play with you one day, like in a duo stream or anything like that? Because we are on Castaways together, but uh, the one problem that um, me and Brooke kind of have with is our schedule because of our time zones. We could pro possibly figure something out one day. It is a little bit tricky. We do, we do make the collabs happen, but never say never. Oh my gosh, Sev, how's it going, homie? So nice to see ya. I, I'm i your biggest fan. No, I'm your biggest fan, Sev. That's, that, that does not compute. I am your biggest fan. How's it going? Thank you so much for um, inviting me onto your uh, boat the other day. I, that was the best gig I've ever played in my life. I had so much fun. It was legendary. Your latest video was so fun about the party boat. The party boat was so funny. It was so chaotic. <laughs> it was so good. What what a what a night to remember. The party boat night. So good. All right, I think I can just like dump the water down, right? I forgot to put signs down there, so we'll see what happens. And then let's go back down in here. For a second, I questioned whether or not the water was still there, and I kind of panicked a bit. Hello? Oh, it's going, it's going. I should probably put the signs down. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. And then I need to quickly do this. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. Is it, is it going down? Yeah, there it is. And then let's replace this with some soul sand. Boom. And we're going to have to kelp it. Oh wait, it's already fallen. There we go, perfect. Okay, let's bone meal this. Titanium, what's going on? Welcome on in, how you doing? Finally catching a stream, love your videos. Alexandria, thank you so much, welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I don't watch spooky movies, I'm an adult with bills and that's spooky enough for me, I feel that, I feel that. That is the scariest thing of all, isn't it? glow squid absolutely vibing oh oh what the heck oh no this is not good this is not good i thought i had you know what the glow squid may have stopped this from going all the way up uh-oh 
Okay, we're gonna have to do this again. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it, chat? The snack size things have a higher surface area to volume ratio, so chocolate coated things have proportion proportionately more chocolate. Is that what makes it better? Is that, you know what? I feel like that actually checks out. That makes sense. Also, how do we explain how shredded cheese tastes better than like a slice of cheese? Is it kind of like the same, the same idea, you know? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm Seb's biggest fan. No, I'm Seb's biggest fan. I'm Seb's biggest fan. I think the glow squid keeps getting in the way. I might have to... We might have to just... Let's see. Oh. I, I might have to get rid of him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my dude. Oh, wait, no. Oh, it stops here. Why? What is going on? What's going on here? Froggy, what's going on? Nice to see ya. So glad we're all better at making bubble elevators. Those days of struggle are over. <laughs> Apparently I'm struggling a little bit today, but thank you to Azzy for teaching me the bone meal trick. I am, I'll never be as bad as I once was at it. Never be as bad as I once was. Melissa, welcome on in. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Just remember the time I ate a block of cheese. It was great at the time, but I regretted it so much. Yep. Been there. Been there for sure. Am I just like running out of bone meal or something? What is going on? Am I just being silly about this? I think I'm just running out of bone meal and being like, where? Why isn't it working? Yeah, I think that's... That's a me problem. Okay, so I just burned through all of this bone meal for no reason. That's okay. I have like thousands of bones. The glow squid was not the problem. I was in fact the problem because for some reason I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm just too hyped to be here today. So my brain is just like completely malfunctioning. I need to go get some more bones though. You're awesome. You're my favorite Minecraft player ever. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I love shredded cheese, just like the cheese without anything else. Oh, when we're like, when we're making dinner, usually like what we do is we shred a bunch of cheese. We shred extra because we call it safety and quality control. So we can just eat like handfuls of shredded cheese just to make sure it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Melts and breaks down quicker so the flavor spreads quicker. There we go. That's the exclam exclamation, explanation that makes sense. Might have spoke too soon with the bubble elevators. Yeah, I'm starting to struggle with it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm struggling a bit. I, I think I'm just like running out of bone meal and being like, why is it not working? I don't I don't know what I'm doing here. Do you even Minecraft? I'm not sure I do. I'm not sure I do. Jag, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. Okay. We're going to try this one more time. I'm embarrassing myself right now. Nah, that's okay. Infinite Drift does not get embarrassed. Ever. Pfft, not me. Why use the bones when you have the kelp? Because the kelp, I think you have to, like, attach it to, like, the, the very, like, tip of, like, the kelp. You know what I mean? So it's easier just to stand at the bottom and spam the bone meal. Me when I'm in the drift chat, brain malfunctions every day. Is that just, is that just a thing when we're all in this chat? Makes our brain malfunction. <laughs> What's your fave uh, Minecraft animal? Uh, okay, I, I think I gotta go. The cows are always so cute. They're a classic. I, I've gotta go with the bee too, though. The bee. Tony, my heart, you know? My heart. Sniffers are cool, but like, I, I kind of like the like OGs. Although the bee technically isn't really OG. That, that came with an update, right? Does kelp have a max uh, growth height? That's, that's what I'm wondering, does it? I don't know if it does. I think I, I think I was just being silly and running out of bone meal and not like really paying attention. I think the kelp, okay, I think this is it. The bone meal stopped. 
Let's see. Let's see if this is it. Is this the one, chat? Is this the one? I think I was just being silly before. And just, like, not paying attention to what I was doing. Yeah, this looks like it's going all the way to the top. Ready? Woo! Look at that. Okay, we got ourselves a bubble elevator. Perfect. Amazing. So good. It's working. We're all good to go. Look at that. So now, I was kind of thinking of fixing this area up today. We've got, like, a strip mine. And I kind of want it to look a little bit nicer than this. I know, like, I don't spend too much time down here, but I feel like having a decorated strip mine would be nice, you know? It's just one of those things I've always wanted to have, because, like, when you do spend time down here, you, you, want, it, you want it to look kind of cozy and stuff. A lot of what I've seen people do is, like, kind of like the moss floor with the spruce beams and stuff. I kind of wanted to give something like that a shot and maybe some amethyst and stuff. Similar to our bone meal farm, I think could look really cool. Drift doesn't even get embarrassed doing karaoke. Nope, not one bit. Not one bit. <laughs> maybe just a little bit sometimes. Just a little bit. It has a natural growth limit, but I think bone meal overrides that. Yeah, that makes sense because I've honestly like, especially because we're at like negative what? Negative 50 something. That's got to be like a at least a solid hundred blocks or so because a, a stack of bone meal is 64. And then we went a little bit over that. So it definitely grows way higher if you bone meal it for sure. You get embarrassed if you do something silly in front of your dogs. You know what? Me and Ruth, we both have no shame. Ruth, ha actually, I've seen Ruth get embarrassed. I've seen her fall and get embarrassed before. It's kind of, kind of hilarious because it's so cute. I'm like, you're a cat. What do you have to be embarrassed about? The bones you wasted in 10 minutes was actually enough for one month for me. Honestly, yeah, that's fair. Like, for real, though, the, um, what's it called? The, the skeleton farm? So good. You never have to worry about, like, bones or anything ever again. It's so handy. Let's cover this up quickly. Oh my gosh. Just all of the gravel. All of the gravel. I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let this happen. Just gonna let this happen. If I if I cover this up, okay, I'm gonna put a torch up there just in case. Because I don't want any mobs to spawn. There we go. Nika, welcome on in. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Monday. <laughs> There's at least 60 people in here who haven't liked the stream. Yeah, for real chat though, if you are enjoying the stream, just drop a, drop a little like. Drop a little like if you're enjoying it. It actually really does help the streams out a lot. So if, if you're enjoying it and you want to drop a little like, I would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Okay, I want to get some spruce. <clears throat> and I think moss an amethyst for this and we can do like beams and stuff problem is there's a, a two block gap in between here but i'm thinking maybe if we do beams along this one i'm almost like wondering because this is such like a like a long strip of mine shaft i'm like i feel as though making a highway at some point with ice would be kind of cool i think it would be kind of neat sophia welcome on in how you doing so nice to see you So no, we're making. So today we're gonna be um, kind of decorating this mine shaft area. It needs a little bit of love, I think. It's, it's looking a little bit sad down there. I know we don't go down there too much, but I think it's nice to have like most areas decorated, you know. Um. Okay. Where are? So I want to just take a look at what we've got so far. So we've got all of this stuff completed. The last stream, basically what we did was we passed out a bunch of stuff. It's looking really good, actually. It's looking so, so good. There's maybe like a couple spots here and there that we missed with our pathing, but I think that's okay. 
We've got like a staircase going up here now. We could build a retaining wall later if we have a little bit of time. This area needs a little bit of work still. But we've got a lot of um we got a lot of stuff done so far. This has been real, but I have a lot to do today. See y'all later. No worries, Shroud. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I'm wondering if Dark Oak would be kind of a cool vibe down there. That or Yeah, Dark Oak could be cool. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Lots of glow berries. Moss would be nice. I think moss can grow over top of whatchamacallit. Deep slate, right? I'm pretty sure. We're gonna need more. Oh yeah, the amethyst. Amethyst. I don't know if I have any. I do have a geode close by though. Yeah, I've only got 15. There is a geode pretty close by to us. When will the next uh, video of X Life come? So I'm gonna be working on it this week, I think, after I'm done with my other long play. So if I can get it done this week, it should come out soon. Otherwise, I think it's gonna be coming out when I get back from vacation. I do have some collabs and stuff um, filmed on the server. So that's all ready to go. I just have to film some solo stuff and put it all together. When does the next episode get posted? Um, so I think I'm going to be doing the commentary long play is going to be posted probably, I would say, on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on the day. Sorry, just catching up on chat really quickly. You're in Halloween mood, so like the stream or little clown plush plushie will sit next to your bed tonight and laugh quietly. L oh, like the stream or a little clown plushie will sit next to your bed tonight and laugh quietly while you sleep. Sev, that is absolutely terrifying. I do not want that. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I, I I will. I'm, I'm scared now. Why not prop up the beams like every uh, couple of openings? Like prop them up with like a little. Um, oh, I don't even have an example here. Kind of like this. I was kind of picturing doing something like this with the beams. I think that might look kind of cool. I, I think the dark oak vibe is the way to go for sure. Dark oak, maybe even dark oak flooring too. Looking forward to watching and listening while I get some work done. Well, come on in. I hope all of your work goes well today. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Yeah, we could use wood and glowstone. I don't know if I spelled that right. Glowstone would be good too, actually. Or maybe like some shroom lights. We could go get some shroom lights as well and cover it up with like moss carpet. Definitely needs a lot of lights. Also, speaking of the axolotl plushie, I'm like, what if we get some like axolotls down here somehow? I think that would be kind of cute. You know? You love the commentary long play? Aw, thanks, Sev. I've been having so much fun making them. So much fun. It's just like a conscious stream of thoughts, you know? And just like vibing. It's been it's been a really fun time making those. Okay, we'll put the bones away for now. What I'm kind of picturing is something like... Maybe we'll start here. So we'll start with the beams. And then we can kind of like fix them up as we go along. I'm thinking... I know it looks kind of weird that it's uneven though. That's a problem. What if we did like... Oops. Something like that. So it'll be a, a three bo block gap every time. Oh, but then that's, mm, that's not gonna work either. I'm wondering if we just kind of make them random. Just because of the two block gap, something like this would work. I think for I think for a build like this, it's just best not to overthink it. You know what I mean? Maybe it'll look better if it's like a little bit more natural looking, you know? Just as long as the beams fall in the same spot so we can, can connect them. Frog lights would be cool. We, However, we don't have frog lights. 
frog lights you know what i love them i genuinely love them as a light source but oh my they are they are difficult to get your hands on they really are we did that in our um in our stream world and it took literally <laughs> i think it took me like three streams to get it fully set up it was it was wild by the end of it i was crying you know what? it was so worth it though because it actually was like Gen it, like those light sources are genuinely so beautiful but boy oh boy getting that together was just really really difficult i think i like that i actually don't mind that the beams are kind of you can't really tell that they're like uneven unevenly spaced but i like that i think it's kind of cool toots what's going on so nice to see ya how you doing tootin in spirit i can hear them i'm listening closely i can hear them in and out today while I homeschool my girl. Uh, what are we working on now? Oh, awesome. I hope all the school is going well. Hope it's going well. Uh, today we are working on uh, decorating this mine shaft. I want it to look a little bit nicer. So we're gonna we're gonna add some decorations to it today. Starting with some beams and then kind of figuring out what we do from there. Okay, let's just go across like this. Boom. And then we need to, hmm. if we're gonna do this, I feel like this beam needs to maybe, it needs to be like a shorter beam perhaps, or we need to go up one more. Possibly, let me see. Let me see what looks better. Honestly, what we could do is put light there instead. No, the beam's fine, the beam's fine. Yeah, I think that looks good. Try to make it look old. Yeah, maybe a little broken would be kind of cool too. So maybe we could even do things like take out like little pieces like this. So it looks a little bit broken down, if you know what I mean. I feel like that would look kind of cool. I'll have to like work on making that look a little bit cooler with it being broken down and stuff. But I, I, I get the vibe. I get the vibe. Maybe even some of these, like, aren't fully connected and stuff. I think that could look kind of cool. We'll do that. You know? I like that as an idea. I think that's really neat. It's like an old, broken down mine shaft. Mama, welcome on in. How you doing? So nice to see ya. How goes it? And then we can also put like little barrels and chests around as well. That would be kind of cute. There we go. It's so funny. I find that like making things look like broken down and old is very hard to make it look like intentional. You know what I mean? I think that's always been like, that's probably one of my bigger challenges in Minecraft is like trying to figure out how do I make something look like intentionally like old and broken without it looking like too goofy, you know? But sometimes it, sometimes it literally is overthinking it. Sometimes it's just like finding the right combination of things, if that makes sense. Yeah, we could use rails as well. That's a good idea. I like that. Bring some like life and movement to it as well. I, I really like that actually. Levers look cool under the stairs. They look kind of like metal uh, struts. Ooh, that's a good one too. Need some cobwebs? Absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all are coming coming out with the, the good ideas today. I mean, you always are. When are you not? But still, I like all these ideas. These are good. Campfires, cobwebs. Okay, I'm adding these to the list. Adding these to the list. These are great ideas. Yeah, we could strip some of it as well, actually. You're right. Do something like this every so often. I'm digging this. I'm digging this. 
had an okay day at work. The kiddo says, hello, Infinite Drift. Well, hello back to you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wish we had some of the chipped mods. Some of the chipped mods would be perfect because they have like knotted wood and stuff like that, but we can add signs and stuff to make it look like a little bit more run down. I think this is starting to look pretty good though. It's coming to shape. And then we could place like the campfires here, the, the levers and all of that stuff. I think that's the vibe chat. That is definitely the vibe. Okay. Let's get levers. Can I make some campfires? I'm going to get a different wood type to get to make the campfires. Make it look like one of the abandoned mines in one of the Western movies. Yes, yes, definitely. So we can have some like rails kind of hanging around with some mine carts in them too. Mine carts with chests, all of that stuff. I like this idea, chat. Fences, fences are a good one. Okay, okay. This is all coming together. This is all going to come together. Gotta get the glow berries, of course. So let's see if I have any... We actually do have a bit of dark oak fencing. I'm going to bring that so I remember. Uh, I'm going to bring more sticks, signs. I would love to have maybe mangrove mixed in with it. I've been digging the mangrove lately. Seeing if I have any rails anywhere. Cobwebs I'm going to have to find as well. Ooh, chains. Chains are one that I often like kind of forget about now. Uh, chains. Here's some levers that we can mess around with. And let's see. Oh, you know what? I always forget that hanging signs exist. I'm not used to them yet, you know? Does anybody else feel the same way? Trap doors would be a good one too. I feel like we got to go sprucies. Spruce is always like, it's a very specific trap door type. I find dark oak is very like formal, fancy looking, if that makes sense. So I think it's nice to have spruce. Let's do... Let's make some campfires. Weirdly placed ladders. I like that. I like that. Okay. Let's... Oh, here's our rails. Perfect. Okay. Let's kind of start playing around with some of the things that we've got. We'll have to add some slabs and barrels and chests too. Season, welcome on in. How you doing? You stairs up right into the floor so there's broken spaces. Yes, definitely. I love doing that as well. We could do that with the deep slate, actually. So I'm thinking, like, even... What if we did this? Just gonna randomly place these guys throughout. Probably gonna need more than this, but... You get the idea. And then maybe, like, in certain spots... Where would be a good spot for this? Hmm. Have a little minecart here. We'll put in some more um, rails later, but I don't want to do anything too crazy yet because we might be messing around with the floor and stuff. This looks like it, it's like patching something up. I really like having uh, signs for sure. We're going to have to make a bunch of those, though. Levers. I want to see where we could put these. Maybe, like... We're kind of talking about underneath something. Facing up, I think. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, I wish I could break this. Do I have a silk touch on anything? I don't think I do. I have it on a shovel. That doesn't really help me, does it? Did I break this with my shovel? Let's see. Might just take a long time. There we go. That worked. <laughs> Have that like kind of holding it up. Aw, yeah. 
Oh yeah. All right. Let's make some more signs. Do I have a crafting table here? Yes, I do. Excellent. We're gonna need quite a few. Also, maybe some buttons as well. Oof, we're gonna have to get some lighting in here. I still think we should go like the glow, the glow route. You know what I mean? Maybe some TNT, Seb. That's like kind of dangerous though. I don't know. <laughs> the TNT would be really fun and cute, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Break some random blocks like in the floor. Yeah, we're definitely gonna, we're gonna definitely gonna break some blocks in the floor as well. I'm gonna focus on the beams first and then kind of um, worry about the flooring and stuff after. We could dig a small cave. Ooh, that would actually look, you know where that would actually look kind of cute? As long as it's like safely contained, we could do like a little like dig out, like dug out spot here afterwards. You know what I mean? Have like a, and then it could be contained with like fencing or something. Maybe like a rail going down. That would look kind of cool. We definitely need some cobwebs though. I think I am in a mine shaft, TBH. Just gonna like zoom out real quickly. Oh my gosh, you could see. I I always love looking at this. That's hilarious how much I've done. I haven't had much luck with diamonds, but you can see we are near a mine shaft. Um, I think there is a way to reach it. Pretty sure. I think cobwebs are like a big thing that we should probably get. A cave with a small pond for the axolotl. Yes, because I mentioned earlier, I was like, we should probably do something with an axolotl. Like that would be kind of cute, right? We definitely need to carve out this a little bit more. I feel like this needs to be like a little bit more rugged, if that makes sense. Has like holes kind of dug into it. Maybe we can have some like beams, patchy beams and stuff like that as well. I think that would look kind of cute. So what we can do is like. Have this run across. This is going to look super patchy, but like, I think in a good way, I think it's going to look kind of interesting. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to patch that up, I guess. I have no choice. This gravel just keeps ruining my life. have this like running across we're gonna have to dig some of this out though i think this is gonna look pretty neat actually when it's done big yes for cobwebs yeah cobwebs are one of those things that i like kind of sometimes forget about and then afterwards i'm like oh my gosh the they do add so much atmosphere like it's not even funny This is so messy right now. I feel like once it's all done, it's actually going to look super cool, though. Yeah, don't put a lever next to TNT. And I was also thinking, Sev, I was like, I can't have any like buttons close by. Otherwise, that could be that could be really bad. <laughs> there we go. It's already starting to get there. It is. It's, we've already made some really big changes. See, this is one of those projects that I'm like so happy we can stream because I, it's just like one of those things where I'm like, otherwise I probably wouldn't have had much time to be able to do this. This is like one of those little like side projects, I, I would say.
We can like hang glowberries and stuff around here as well. There we go. Looks dusty and old. Oh my gosh! Lucky Luke comments or comics. I don't think I've seen Lucky Luke before or Reddit, sorry. I'll have to check that out. I always add cobwebs to my builds so they're more like my IRL home. Facts. Facts. Jag, some of the things you say, I'm like, are you are you a vampire? Are you a vampire? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Kind of kind of giving up those giving off those vampire vibes. Slabs and stairs in the ceilings, definitely. I think like cobble or deep slate ones too, for sure. So I think what we need is some cobwebs. We're gonna have to go into the caves, chat. The real caves. The scary caves. Yeah, raw copper would be cool too. Pixel, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, we try to stream here every Monday. Last Monday got canceled uh, because I had to catch up on some videos for y'all. Get ahead because I'm going on holidays. But we are absolutely vibing today. We've got a couple hours to spend. We're going to be decorating that little mining, um, the mining outpost, the caves. And it's going to be a good time. So I need to get, I was going to say I need a bed, but I don't think I really do. I think we're good with that. Let's just go into the caves and go find, um, whatchamacallit. <gasps> Where's my sword? Oh wait, my sword's right there. <laughs> I thought I lost it. Oh my chat. It's, it's been a morning, hasn't it? Hasn't it? Yeah, I think this is all gonna come together really nicely. I wish there was mossy deep slate. Oh, me too. I've never even considered that an option. That's, now that sounds nice. Ow. That would be so cool. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, I should probably light some of this up too. Every time I come down here for like granite and stuff, mobs just always chase me and it's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, we're definitely going to be adding minecarts and stuff like that too, for sure. Not to worry. Oh, little pond here. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to grab some water because in case we do actually come across like an axolotl or something, chat, I want to be ready. I want to be ready to get them. Also, chat, if you're enjoying the stream and uh, you haven't liked it yet, if you want to drop a like, it really helps out um, the reach with these streams and stuff like that. I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. I have a bow and it's not going to last. It is in very bad condition. I am panicking because a baby zombie. I am in pain. Nice. Nice. Just don't want to go near the creepers, you know? It's just one of those things. You could layer glow lichen on the deep slate. Oh, that, okay, you know what? I always forget that glow lichen exists. That's, that's a good one. That is a good one. Yes, definitely. Okay, glow lichen. There's some right here, actually. And you can just bone meal, like, just absolutely go wild with the bone meal and glow lichen, right? Pretty sure you can. Pretty sure you can. Oh, that broke. Oh my gosh, Toots! Ian, thank you so much for becoming a Drift channel member. Chat, you know what to do, you know what to do. Big, big swags, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Welcome on in to the illest and chillest club. Thank you so much. Enjoy all of your emotes and all that stuff. Really appreciate it, Ian. Thank you so much. Big, big swags. Also, chat, I forgot to talk to you about this. So, um, when we were doing our charity stream, so I mentioned earlier about how me and Froggy have unlocked a bunch of like really cool stuff, uh, like we're doing plate up and we're gonna be doing another holiday um, stream together. There was also, she uh, had a stretch goal where she was gonna be playing Stardew. And I was like, oh, I need to get like, 
like have a stretch goal as well. So because we did reach like we we just went way past way past our donation goals. So I was thinking about it and like I've had some comments before and people people mentioning this one particular game and I was wondering how you would all feel if <laughs> if I gave Terraria a shot. What what would be the vibe on that? That is a game that I played probably I'd have to look at my stream probably like 20 minutes most at most I was a little bit lost playing it but I think now that I play a lot of Minecraft there's like a lot of similarities between the two games I think and I feel as though I would actually really enjoy it and it would be a fun time so if if you're all like kind of digging maybe Terraria I was kind of thinking trying giving that game a shot I think it could be really fun I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do it as like a stream or video format I'd have to I'd have to think about it what would what would be better or where we would stream it I don't know but I, w I was kind of thinking about giving that game a shot I think it could be really fun thank you for the fantastic streams I feel I need to change my YouTube name to my twitch or similar I it's funny because I remember the first times you came in here I constantly had to be reminded that you're toots I'm like you're always toots I can I was like I was like hmm the name the name I know you're toots but it's not toots I appreciate you though toots Pokemon Scarlet or Violet honestly it's been a hot minute since I played a Pokemon game it's been a hot minute Andre welcome on in how you doing so nice to see ya do it all right whoa diamonds I'm having better luck getting diamonds like just out in the wild than I am yes in my strip mines strip mines I, I find that I just have really bad luck with it I want to see you play Terraria I've never played or watched anything with it so you could show us what it's like honestly I've watched like a little bit of it too and like I've always wanted to learn it but I've, I've always been like is it too complicated I don't I don't think so I've heard it's like super fun so I, I would definitely be interested to give it a shot with you all. Oops, there is a mine shaft right here. Oh my gosh. If you feel, uh, if you feel you're gonna enjoy it, do it. Aw, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's that's honestly one of those things though. I think that like rings so true where like, if somebody's enjoying something, like you can tell and it'll it'll probably be a fun time regardless. You know what I mean? It'll just be a fun time because you can tell the person's enjoying it. I think that totally uh, is like such a true statement. Okay, cobwebs. We're on a, we're on a mission for the cobwebs and some rails because they're kind of expensive to make so nice nice Ooh, a spawner don't mind if i do what is this oh zombie yeah not much in here got some string though i'll take that Ooh, a golden apple i didn't even notice that sharon welcome on in how you doing Oh, protection three, not bad. Some wheat, cat, horse armor, we'll leave it. When when will I ever use that? When will I ever use that? Let's be real. Let's grab all of these. Ooh, lots right here. Let's go. Need to make some more torches strip mining is relaxing it totally is I love it it's so funny I, I don't want to spoil too much for my cozy long plays but that's that's kind of what I've been working on this morning for it and it is just so fun I, I could honestly like strip mine or cave for hours I love it I think it's super super fun there's just something something about exploring caves that I always find like it still gets kind of scary sometimes but in like a good a good way you know oh spider noises Sev I know you don't like that I know you don't like that very much 
probably have like a spider spawner nearby. I hate those things. Cave spiders really are the worst though. How many we got so far? 26? Not bad, not bad. Oh, did we find one? We did indeed. Okay, I need to be careful here. These things come at you. Janine, welcome on in. How you doing? I'd love to see you play Slenderman. I think I played that game a long time ago and honestly, never again. That game like gave me a heart attack. Absolute heart attack. <laughs> I can barely get through playing Phasmophobia. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh no. Little, little buggers. Come on. Okay, I'm not gonna risk it too much. I would like to grab maybe a couple more. Do we have a stack yet? We don't. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's running at me. <laughs> Jeez. Good fall afternoon. Love it. Has the has the temperature dropped for a lot of you? It is cold and crispy here now. And you know what? I love it. Absolutely love it. I am thriving right now. Every time I strip mine, I end up falling into a cave. I always get the, the lava being dropped on my face. It is the worst. Absolutely the worst. Yeah, the weather, it's gotten very cold here suddenly, but I'm totally here for it. I I love fall. Honestly, really, really love fall. So I've been I've been kind of thriving lately. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get out of here. I'm done. I think I handled that pretty well though. Didn't get a notification for the stream. Aw. I also put notifications in my Discord. Um if you're able to join that. That's where I do like my going live notifications. Sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes the notifications can get like kind of, like they can get kind of funky and not go off and stuff. The scream would be so entertaining though, <laughs> honestly, honestly. Can I, can I make it down? Yeah, it's been like a hot minute since I've played like a scary game, honestly. We haven't since, was it like the last time Sev, me and you played Faz together, possibly? I feel like maybe, maybe it's been that long. Oh God. Love the fall, but hate what comes after. Honestly, like I'm I'm kind of into the winter. Like I, I do enjoy winter. I don't love it as much as I love fall. I definitely think I enjoy winter more than I do summer. I like kind of like cozying up, going to like, you know, like you, you walk into like a cozy restaurant and you're like all nice and warm. You eat a nice meal and you go home and you just like watch cozy movies. It can, it, it, it is like the one thing that gets me is like the constant dar darkness. After a while, I think I would say by like March, I'm like, you know what? I'm over it. But I do, I do like the winter. It's 80 degrees, 27 here. Oh, oh, 27 still very hot in my books. Very, very hot for me. Guess face eaten by spiders. I'm thriving now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got a good amount of rails. If we need to go um, back down, we definitely will. How do I miss all this iron? What is this? This is like sweet, sweet, precious iron that I've missed along the way. My old bones would rather the heat than the cold. That's fair. I get that. After a while, like the... There is nothing worse than like that, like numbing pain of the cold, especially if you've been like walking outside for a while and you just like can't even feel your face. I think I'm kind of forgetting about that feeling when talking about the winter and I'm like, I like it. Like I do, don't get me wrong, but definitely some days it's like, this is too cold.
All right, let's put some of the stuff away. So we've got very, very important things. Not the diamonds. The diamonds are like not important. Not important at all. Same with that book. We've got cobwebs. Oh, and also this music disc can go away. Oh, amazing. Already making such a difference. Cobwebs are just one of those things. You kind of tend to forget about them. But when you remember them, you're like, yes. Brilliant. Such a good decorational item. What would I do without them? Okay, that's looking good so far. I think we need some like other, like like a touch of greenery almost. Next. I'm thinking glowberries first. That's what we start with. And then we move on to like the glow lichen as well, which would look really nice on like beans. Glow berries can go just in like random spots. I will shear some of them. I don't want them to be like all super long. Different lengths would be good. Glowberries for sure. For sure. Hi Drift, very cold here in uh in Scotland. Got the heating on. Crocheting while watching the stream. Oh, Jillian, welcome on in. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope the crocheting's going on. And I hope uh going on. Going well. I hope it's going well. And I hope um I hope you're just keeping warm. I've I'm all bundled up today. All bundled up. Especially because honestly, the the one thing I really don't like about our apartment is our insulation's really bad around our windows. It gets so cold. It is ridiculous how cold it can get. And I can definitely feel it now. I'm like, oh. And the other day I was like, is it even cold outside? And then I walked close to the window. I was like, oh yeah, it is. Watching while doing my homework. So happy to be here in your stream. Oh, welcome on in. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Oops. Does this spread like... Oh, it spreads like all across everywhere. Glow lichen is something I need to use more of. Honestly, it's so pretty. Why do I not use this enough? And also, it is lighting. It is lighting. Charlie, welcome on in. So nice to see ya. How you doing? There, I think that's looking pretty good. It's looking very, very messy, but... It's starting to come together. I think moss spreads on deep slate, right? It's negative two where you are. That Yeah, that's chilly. Whoa! Okay, well that... You know what? This is kind of swag. I like this. I like like the little... What if we do like little patches? Oh, that's neat. Yeah, this, this is the vibe. This is the vibe. Oh, this is messy. No, I'm I'm into this though. I'm into this. I feel like that just like spreads a lot. That's a lot. But I I like it, you know? Just like in little patches we can do. Very fun cave. Thank you. Yeah, this is really coming together. You're all giving like great suggestions for it though. Really good suggestions. Oh, Chicago deep dish pizza. You know what? I have never had like a proper Chicago deep dish pizza before. I really would like to visit Chicago one day though. It looks very, very beautiful. It gives me, it definitely gives me like Toronto vibes for sure. I've like a lot of my friends who have gone have kind of like said the same thing. They're like, it's very, very similar to Toronto in some ways. Glow lichen farms are super easy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever made one before. I don't think I've ever made one before. I should give one a shot. All right, I need to get my stone cutter because I want to get some like chips in the floor and also probably some uh, dark oak and stuff. 
Had a rough day. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that. Glad you're going home though. Moss is messy like me. I'm messy. This is organized. It's not organized. I am pretty messy. I'm willing to admit that. I'm very much willing to admit that. Wonder if we should get some coarse dirt down there. <gasps> what about mud? Mud could look kind of cool. What if we did mud instead, chat? Instead of like deep slate? What if we did mud? Mud and maybe some like slabs of like dark oak. Crustless pizza is your fave. Crispy cheese with toppings. You know what? Okay, I don't think I've ever had like a true crustless pizza, but you know what I really enjoy? I really enjoy like pizzas that are cut into square slices. So good. Oh, you're sick? Oh no. I've been like trying to avoid getting sick because I'm going on holiday this week. So I'm like, I'm, avo I'm avoiding the gym now. I don't think I'm gonna go for the rest of the week. I just really don't wanna get sick when I go away. My sinuses have been so dry lately too. And I'm like, every morning I'm like, I'm so sick. And then like five minutes later, I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine. What up, how was your day? My day's been good so far. Just been hanging out. I've been filming some stuff this morning and now we are just vibing in this world. We're building like an old, uh, old looking mine shaft. And it's pretty cool. It's, it's turning out pretty cool so far. How are we feeling with this mud? Is this too much? I think it adds like a cool pop of color, but we're gonna have to like actually make a ton of it though. Well, actually maybe not that much. I think the mud would be cool. It's one of your favorite blocks to work with. Me too. Me too. Hello from Denmark. Hello, how you doing? Thank you so much for popping in. My mouth's watering when anyone talks about pizza. Actually, same. Like for real, I love pizza so much. It's so good. I feel like mud's the way to go. I think it is the way to go. I got to get some like um, packed mud though, not just the bricks. The bricks look good, but it looks better if you texture it with the other one. You know what I mean? I so want to get into your world just to organize everything. I love watching the builds, but literally cringe when I see the chest. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Also, Lisa, thank you so much for the five. Can I get some big, big swags in chat? Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Really appreciate it. I need to do... um. We were talking about this the other day on uh, on Twitch about how I need to do like an organization stream and just like kind of just hang out, just vibe and organize. Definitely need to do that. Maybe we could do some uh, organizing a little bit later too. We can always do that. Everything, the problem is I find everything just like goes everywhere eventually. You know what? The most organized I've ever been is on castaways though. Redeem sort of chess monster. Ah! Ah! Lisa's so real. <laughs> I want to see everybody's organization. Can, so, can people please post their orga organization in the discord for um, just for some inspiration? I need organization inspiration. To be fair, this one's not the worst. This one isn't the worst. I do need to label things though in this world because right now the chests are unlabeled. But to be fair, at least I've got like, you know, wood. <laughs> you didn't see that. You didn't see that. And then I got like my stones here. Cobblestone and regular stone, you know? Oh my gosh, Phantom Mickey. Thank you so much for the 28. Phantom Mickey, thank you so, so much. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat? I'm off today and know what I'm doing. Also, how do I become a member again? That's a good question. I think on my like main channel, it's the join button. Phantom Mickey, thank you so much for the 28. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat? Big swags. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Taking to the child to, uh, to bed in a minute. No worries. Hope it all goes well. Okay, this is a little bit of a mess. I've got to gotta gotta admit that's a mess that is just a hot mess but overall this this world could be a little bit worse it could be worse okay i don't know what's going on in these ones i just need to label them properly maybe we could do that later if you're all down for it i might get a little bit silent while i'm organizing 
but it'd be fun. Oh yeah, I need mud. That's what I need. If you ever need an idea of what to build, I recommend I'm making a wizard academy. Ooh, that would be cool. I need to make more like in the area by our enchanting table. I was going to make a couple more things like that, like kind of like magical looking. All right. I just ate six crepes. I'm so dead. Now I have to finish recording that long play. Wish me luck. Good luck, Sev. Also, crepes. Oh my gosh. Crepes are one of my favorite foods. I don't eat them as much as I used to. I used to eat so many crepes, like a ridiculous amount. Because my um my mom would always make them for me. But I it's those are like one of those foods like I could eat six in a row. I love them with cream cheese and berries, though, and jam. Oh, so good. So good. You don't see the join button? That's so weird. Should be there though. Yeah, I think it's like near like the subscribe button or something like that. Let me look. Let me see, let me see. It's, it's in like a weird spot kind of. Yeah, I think it's like on the header right by like my username or something. organization inspiration sent your way sky thank you so much for the five can i get some big 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 swags in chat for sky thank you so so much i really appreciate that okay organization inspiration i really appreciate it we'll we'll get some organization done towards the end of the stream today how about we do that we just kind of vibe we maybe clear out like this chest and stuff like that you know just really just really get rid of all of this stuff you know what azalea leaves we're gonna need some of those we are definitely gonna need some of those um oh you know what would look good torch flowers would look sick down there as well we don't really have that many though and maybe some drip leaf i'm just grabbing all the things for down downstairs it's gonna look so good so so good all right I'm gonna... Okay, I think that's everything we need. Oh yeah, I needed dirt. That's what we needed. Some regular old dirt. Because I want to make packed mud. What does swag mean? It means like, it means like cool. It's kind of like an alternative word for cool. Uh, you're on your phone that yeah, that might do it. That might do it. Oh, no. Look who decided to show up. What do you got? You got vines. That would actually be useful. Rooted dirt. Useful, but I'm not I'm not paying emeralds for that. Brown dye. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you for now. I'm gonna spare you today, sir. I'm going to spare you. Pancakes are soggy. Ooh, you know what? I think pancakes if done right are delicious. I would say, okay, Let's, I would say pancakes, waffles, and crepes, like, all fall within kind of, like, a very similar category of food, right? I would say my favorite, crepes. Second, waffles. Third, pancakes. Pancakes can be good if they're done well, but I find that, like, more often than not, I don't think they're as good. I, for some reason, I thought mud was made with dirt. It's not. It's wheat. What a weird combination. What a weird, weird combination. All right, I've got 26. I'm gonna have to go get some more wheat in a bit, apparently. Oops. Is it too busy with the packed mud? Should I just stick to the deep slate? Is this too much? I'll do a little bit more. I feel like, especially if we're, if this thing is extending, I'm starting to second guess it because if we're constantly expanding this like, Mine shaft. I'm gonna constantly have to make packed mud. You know? I'm second guessing this chat. I'm second guessing this. I went on like a hunt for all of this packed mud. You like it too much? I'm starting to think too much. Cause I got to think about this logistically as well, you know? We'll have this for a future build. It's always good to have that. But what we can do in the meantime is I've got my stone cutter. We can start making, maybe we could start putting down some like deep slate bricks at least. You know what I mean? 
amongst like some of the regular deep slate or cobble deep slate i mean i think that would be nice i think that would look good yeah i think that's more that's more fitting it's got some nice texture to it and it's not like too overwhelming you know I think it could have gone either way. Like, I, I actually genuinely do think it looks good. It was just like thinking about it for the future. I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, don't know how that's going to play out. Because if we're if I'm constantly adding like to this area, it's just going to be so much packed mud. So we might as well just keep it pretty simple. I'm glad you guys like it, though. Glad you guys like it. I think I think it could have gone either way, really. It is very, like, earthy looking. <clears throat> Just little patches. Yeah, maybe little patches, like, around in some of the spots with, like, the moss, right? We could do that as well. Are you so good at building? Do you have any building tips? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Honestly, my, my thing with building, I always say this, is, like, Failing at something is a good thing. I know that sounds kind of like ridiculous, but at the same time, like I think I think failure in like learning in the learning process is super important. Like there's so many times where like I really, really struggled for like roofs, for example. I struggled with roofs for the longest time because there was something in my brain that was just like not clicking when I would I would make them I was like I literally don't understand this I can't figure it out and I just like I it was so much like process and like trial and error that eventually one day it clicked because I just like kept trying and trying and just like trying different techniques um just like little build ideas stuff like that having a creative world I think is like really important it's it, it's a lot easier to recover your mistakes in a creative world than it is like in survival where you're like constantly trying to like battle with the elements and stuff. If you can fly around a build and like get different perspectives on it, then you're good to go. Pick of corner chest from and showcase on Discord. Also, should I get you a pick of my semi-auto mud farm? Absolutely. And Lisa, thank you so much again for the five. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat? Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the Discord. I need to take a sip of water. Also, chat, hydrate if you need to. If the floor looks too overgrown, you'd have to change the walls and that too so it matches. That's true with, the, like, the spread. I agree. Maybe we could, like, put some moss up in the walls as well. I think that's a really good idea. Like, have it kind of, like, creeping up, right? Also, we can probably shear some of these guys now. Actually, that one needs to grow. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let me take a look at the Discord really quick. Oh, dang it. That's really nice. That's very nice. You know what? You use signs too. I think signs are the way to go. I used to use um I used to use item frames. Signs are are the way to go. You can just get way more specific with what like what you're placing in in each chest. You know what I mean? That's very very nice. Deep slate bricks are like so OP. I love them so much. I think that they're like one of my favorite blocks, honestly. They're just so simple. So good. Gonna lurk for a bit. Have to get ready for work. No worries. Hope it goes well. You've been in your survival for like 180 days and now notice my house is uneven during changing the roof. Flying around would be so helpful, right? Sometimes, honestly, that happens to me too. Even if like I have a like a build planned in creative, sometimes I actually don't execute it properly in, in survival. And I've noticed it after the fact and I'm like, you know what? Just rolling with it. 
<clears throat> signs are better. You cannot give overall than you can give a overall than a specific. Yes, exactly. That's what I found too. I actually prefer using signs now for sure. Okay, so we can start replacing some of this stuff with like moss. I think that's kind of cute. Oops. Moss doesn't really grow. No, it doesn't grow upwards, right? Like not on a wall like this. I wish it did though. So I don't think you can bone meal that. I think it would only spread. No, you can't. Kind of wish it did, but that's all right. Connor, welcome on in. I missed your comment. Item frame seemed like a good idea until I no longer remember what unstripped cherry wood lo looks like. No, exactly. So true. So true. That's the thing. Like, it's it's just not specific enough. It, it does seem good in theory, but then afterwards you're kind of like, you know what? This is just not working. It really isn't. Okay, I think this is cool. Don't want to do too much moss. I think this is like pretty much perfect though. Like even the patches at the back, we don't really need. And then, oops, I'll just replace that with deep slate. Maybe we can have some rail carts. Like this has become a mess. I will admit that. I will admit to you all. Let's uh break this. Just have them going down like random directions too. Just in little parts that we won't use anymore. I'm Sam, I don't know if I said hi to you, but hello and KD, welcome on in as well. I hope you're both having a wonderful day. It's so nice to see you both. Waterlogged stairs and slabs. Yeah, that would look cool too, for sure. I think what we could do is, you know what? I could just turn this into like a little, watch this. <laughs> look at that, perfect, boom. Yeah, having some like water around here would be nice for sure. Suck as a builder, however, I noticed that I like to fiddle with the decos and structure as I go along than a total finished product. Yeah, I feel like I kind of like, I tend to like just pick away at stuff for sure. I, I find that <clears throat> my weakness would probably be like shape. Shape is what I, I struggle with for sure. But I really love decorating. I could decorate for hours. I obviously love building out like structures and shapes. Like it is fun for me, but I just like don't feel like I'm as good <clears throat> as like, I don't know. Like some of my friends are just so OP at it. So OP. That's definitely something that I'm learning though. Is this so pretty? I, I'm glad you like it. I, I really like how it's turning out. It's very like messy, but cute, you know? I think it looks really cool. Now we just need like a bunch of um chests and stuff like that. It's funny, I don't go down here that often anymore, but I don't know. It's just nice to have like a little, just something decorated like this, you know? What are you most excited for for the new update? Oh my gosh, the copper blocks. Yo, what are those? Like the grates and stuff? And I think they had a door. Too. I'm I'm most excited for all the building blocks. I think that they're adding in some really cool stuff. Like I'm I'm kind of blown away by that to be honest. Very very excited for all that stuff. Yeah, what's everybody excited for? I think like the um the redstone thingy is really cool. Except like me personally, I don't know how to work that. I might be able to do something really basic with a tutorial <laughs> after the fact. But that's that's definitely something that's like not so much for me, but like I'm I'm so happy for all of the people who really love redstone that they have like a really cool new thing to play with, honestly. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. I'm just going to close my curtains. Oh, it's bright out today. It wasn't bright this morning. 
My builds end up being 90% interior, interior and 10% and exterior. Why am I the same? I feel like I, I thrive with interior for sure. I feel the exact same way. That's so funny. You know, I'm gonna shear that a little bit and then we're gonna bone meal. Bone meal, bone meal. Perfect. Did I shear that one? I did not. Excellent. Well, this is looking real cute so far. I want to add some like bricks to these walls as well. Like deep slate bricks, I think. And we could do this. Yo, what's going on? Welcome on in. How you doing? Looking forward to the copper details. Yeah, I'm all about the building blocks. I'm all about the building blocks. I was kind of hoping that they would go the route of, um, whatchamacallit. I was kind of hoping that they go the route of like a new stone type block. There's also decorated tough, right? I think that's another one. Decorated tough looks really cool. Where you can kind of like put in the stone cutter. I saw that and I, I kind of flipped. I was like, that is awesome. Cause uh, you know what? That's what I was kind of hoping for. We got two new wood types the last few times cause we got mangrove, right? And then we got um, the cherry wood. And I was like, I'm kind of hoping for like a new type of stone block that would be uh, decorated. And and they came through, they really came through. I'm so excited for like that the copper's getting a little bit more love too. I think it'll, ha it'll just give it more purpose which is really exciting to see. Excited for the, wait, what is the breeze mob? I don't, I don't know if I heard about that. Or is that the, is that the new boss? Is that the new boss that they announced? Cause that dude was kind of cool looking. I like the dungeons. I think it's, I think it's a neat concept, especially cause they're like randomly generated and they can like, have different generations, right? Oh no, I hit a gravel pile. There we go. Auto crafting, but just because I'm so tired of assembling my melon manually, like some sort of 13th century peasant. You know what? That is so true. You're so right. I'm probably gonna use auto crafting for really random things like that as well. I'll definitely find purpose for stuff like that. that. That is the most true thing in the world. That's so funny. Why is that so true? Need to be better about decorating. Honestly, see, that's the thing. Like, it, it's so funny how we all have like our strong suits in Minecraft. Cause I feel the exact same way with like, um, with like learning shapes and stuff properly in this game. One thing at a time though, one thing at a time. Will you tell Ruth I love her? Ruthie. Oh, she's knocked out. Moon loves you though. She's actually knocked out this morning. Also, Ruth update, her, um, her skin problem is completely cleared now. We're so excited. We haven't noticed anything pop up for like a couple weeks-ish since we took her to the vet and um she had like a couple of remaining like little scabs and we were like okay i think those have always been there so we monitored them they're ones that had always been there and now they're completely gone like even those ones have healed up so yay she's all she's all healed up she's good to go she's totally okay hasn't had any um any weird like skin breakouts since that one time and I'm just like so happy because I was worried about her. Definitely was worried about her. Let's put this here. Oh, it just keeps attaching. I don't like how that looks. There we go. Let's do that. What do you think of the dead coral to help the walls look like they're crumbling? Dead coral would look really nice. The problem is I don't really know. I don't remember where the warm ocean is. It might be a little bit far, but the dead coral blocks, honestly, probably one of my favorites. 
If it was easier to obtain, I'd probably use it a lot more in my builds. Autocrafting, bones, bone meal, bone block. Thanks, Skelly Farms. No, for real. There's so many opportunities for the auto crafter. I feel like I'm excited to see what people do with it, you know, because I don't I don't have the brain to figure that out on my own, but I'm excited to see like in the next coming months, see people be like, look what I figured out. It's going to be so cool. I feel like it's going to really, really change the game. Who knows what people are going to figure out with it, honestly. That's the thing with Minecraft. Like, the community always is always so good at stuff like that. Okay, I think that's looking good. We need to add, like, a couple slabbies and uh, stuff like that here. We could do, like, even little piles like this. Then I want to add some like chests and barrels, mine carts. Cute. I think I want to get some lanterns in here too. You know what else we can do? Which I think would look kind of cool. Yay, Ruth. Yeah, I'm so happy. We were worried about her. Even though the, the vet said it was probably fine just to keep an eye on it. Like you just never know, right? But she's like all cleared up everything's totally fine now and it's just like i'm so happy that like it's just something that we don't really have to worry about anymore um let's get some chains in here as well we can get some like lanterns hanging from the ceiling too i think that would look kind of neat oops oh i hate when i accidentally place a chain sideways i don't know why i'm always like ah oh that gravel hello it's vibing absolutely vibing there we go this is looking good i would love to build some shapes and see how various creators would decorate them that's always such a really like honestly a really fun thing to do i think um when we when we had camp cozy running i think azzy were you the one that suggested that like have like plots of land to give people ideas for their builds just like as a starting point and then they can go from there i think i always think that's a really good idea after watching castaways and seeing all the potential for decorative blocks from the stone cutter i was also hoping that they will add more variants for andesite calcite me too i'm happy that they started with they actually started doing that with tough and stuff tough and stuff what a little rhyme hee hee um because tough is one of those blocks it's beautiful and i was like it needs more love so i'm happy it's got like another purpose to it to be honest you'll destroy the armadillos no the armadillos are cute they're gonna look so good in the savannah my thing was like i just wanted um i really wanted the other biomes like the old ones to get some love and i'm happy that the armadillo ended up winning for that reason i was like either that or the penguin because i'd love to see some like more animals in the older biomes i was very i'm 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 happy with it i don't think i'll really use the wolf armor i don't even i never use dogs in this game but still pretty cool There we go. So let's get maybe some lanterns here and there. Where else did I put chains? I don't want them on the really long ones. Oh, there's one. Hey, this is looking cute. It's messy, but I like it. I feel like it's been like a, a hot minute since I've done a build like this. Yeah, I'm not a redstone expert, not by any means. <laughs> Definitely not a redstone expert. I'm starting to learn, but I've got some homies who are just like so good at it. It's it's wild to me. I, I don't they the way that like they can think of builds 
Like I, I have to, I don't really even understand many of the basics of redstone. So I, I can barely conceptualize like complex builds with them. Let's get another light down here somewhere. Maybe right here. Boom. Oh yeah. Then I was thinking we could do something like some of these I'm, I'm never going to use again because they're just like old. So we could even do something like this and then have it boarded up like that. We could also have the boards coming across like this. Just in spots that aren't as... Yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that. Nice, nice. Zion, what's going on? It's so nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. I want armor stands for horse and wolf armor. Yo, that would be cool too. I would love to see like more opportunity with armor stands and stuff or like displaying items. Like I've had some mods where you have like plinths or whatever they're called and you can place like items on them. I would love that. Tough, tough is awesome. Tough is great. Oh, you didn't like the crab losing? You know what? The crab, I think it would... It's so funny. As a builder, I think it would have been great for me. But I don't... I don't think I would have used it that much, if I'm honest. Because I'm assuming it'd have to be equipped in, like, your offhand. Or whatever to use it. And I, I just honestly... I just don't think I would have ended up bothering with it, to, to be honest. You can't place signs like, no. No, no. Like going over nothing, right? I don't think so. Oops. And if you can, I don't remember how. Yeah, no, I don't remember how to do that if, if there is a way. I think that looks pretty cute, though. I like that. Missed you guys? Oh, we missed you too. I hope you've been doing well, though. Hope everything's been all right. New mob inside the end would be really cool. I would love for, like, a full-on end update, to be honest. I think, like, honestly, I'd be, I'd be willing to wait for, like, a full-on, just absolute awesome update for the end. No, we don't want Spoon. Mine cart with chest. Boom. Boom. What else can you put in mine carts? TNT, obviously, right? Mine cart with furnace, chest, hopper. I feel like chest looks the coolest. Let's do like three more. And we'll do a couple with the chests. And then one without. <clears throat> Wish there was more dog variants. Me too. Honestly, I feel bad because like I'm I'm obviously like like I'm all for the cats because I I have a cat. I love cats. I feel bad that like dog owners don't get any other um don't really get those options, you know. The crab claw was just another inventory spot lost. Yeah, that's how that's kind of how I'm feeling about it too. I feel very similarly. It just feels like I don't know. I would just end up not using it and completely forgetting it exists because it's just it's it's an inventory spot slot. If they like kind of had a workaround where like, you know how some of those mods, um, some mods have like those inventory slots that you can use. If it was something like that, where they added like a separate inventory slot to your like armor so you could have it sub equipped, I would absolutely do it. But otherwise, I was like, I'm probably never going to use this. I've got to be, I've got to be honest with myself here. <laughs> that it's not going to get used. Oh, those like chests and uh, all of the carts and stuff, I think really added a lot to this. 
I like that. I like that a lot. I think this actually looks pretty cool. I like this area a little bit more than some of the mossy. I might take out a little bit of this moss, to be honest. Just a tiny bit. And then I want to do something here. For sure. Then we can kind of, um... <clears throat> Putter around the base after and maybe kind of fix up some of our storage if you're all down. Horse armor stands to hold the saddles would be OP. I agree. I think that would be kind of cool. More building decoration blocks would be the best outcome. And the wolf armor is really good, but armadillos are just adorable in every way. That's how I feel. I'm like the armadillo itself. Can you imagine him like rolling around the little savannah? It's going to be so cute. I'm, I'm gonna love that. It's it's all about the atmosphere for me now at this point. And I was kind of like, when I was thinking about it with the crab, I was like super excited. But then I was like, oh wait, I don't think this is gonna, it's not gonna be around beaches. It's just gonna be like around the mangrove. And my thought is, I'm like, the mangrove already has so much love, you know? Like it really, it's got, it's got the frogs. It's got all that stuff. And I was just like, I'd rather just something in one of the older biomes at this point. Oops. You know? You'd love a gray tabby cat in the game? I thought there was one. Well, actually, the jelly cat, like Scar's jelly cat, is kind of close to that, I would say. Should be more reptiles in Minecraft? Yeah, I'm surprised there's, like, not really many reptiles, TBH. Oh, I think this looks a little bit cleaner. I like this. Yes. There, that's not as messy. I think that's good. Did they announce which animal got voted? Crab versus armadillo? The armadillo got voted in. I always thought that the crab was weird because you can use scaffolding to reach up further away from the block. Exactly. That, oops. That's kind of like how I felt about it too. I was like, I don't know. At this point, like... I feel like it could be cool. I'd have to test it first. I just don't know how much I would use the extendo block thing. Cause I'm like, I already use like blocks for that, you know? So in this corner, we were gonna do like a little TNT pit, right chat? It's kind of what we were thinking. Can have it like blocked off and stuff. I want it to look like it was like actually kind of blown up if that makes sense. They should have a scorpion. Yo, scorpion would be kind of cool. I would I would dig that. That would be that would be pretty sick. Something like that would be kind of cool. Just have it look like kind of messy. Just like that. There we go. I think that's probably good. Oh, whoops, my bad. <laughs> crocodiles, crocodiles would be neat. I like, I would like that. Missy, a few chains. Some of the chains I'm intentionally leaving without lanterns, just to make it look a little, just a little more rugged. Are you streaming on Twitch too or just YouTube? So we're only doing a stream on YouTube today. We do stream on Twitch still, just on Fridays only. But for today, this stream is just on YouTube. Really wanted Crab to win so we'd have another mob that Bane of Arthropods was useful against. But the, the Crab wouldn't attack you, would it? Would it be hostile? That's a good point, though, because that that really like that is such a useless. <laughs> it's such like a useless uh, enchant right now. Oops, gotta move this dude back. There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to. Oh, great. I have this entire mess. I've got to clean up my own mess now. OK, I'm going to start returning some stuff to our base, if that's OK, chat, because I need to make a little bit of space for our little TNT pit that we're doing. So I'm going to get rid of some of the stuff that I know I don't need. Wow. 
Crab legs as a potential food. That would have been so cool. They would have had to make butter in the game then. Crab legs and butter. Oh, great. He's still here. Bruh. I would have liked the penguin, though, to be honest. that That is honestly the one that I did vote for. I did vote for penguin, and that's mostly because I genuinely do use boats a lot, I find. Like, in this world, I've used a boat quite a bit because I don't have an elytra here. Even in, like, the worlds where I do have my elytra, I'm like, eh, I, I, like, I like riding around on boats. I think they're useful. <gasps> I have an axolotl in here. Would you look at that? Where'd I put him? Oh, here he is. I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reorganize some of this today. Okay, let's... Like, I don't even know where I should put these cobwebs right now. This is becoming a problem, chat. It is. Golden apple can go here for now. I don't remember where like all of my mob loot is even. TNT I'm gonna take. I'm gonna need the gunpowder for some TNT. We need paper too, right? How do you make it again? TNT. Oh, it's just sand. Never mind. We don't need paper. Sand, sand. Yeah, we're gonna label these afterwards. We're gonna do some big organization. When have you ever met a crab that wasn't aggressive? Fair. I don't think I've encountered a crab really much in my life. I live in a place that doesn't really have them. Are they friendly or are they kind of like, do they go a little bit aggro? Are they, uh, are they not to be messed with? Problem with the penguin was the biome. Having penguins in stony shores next to deserts or in the middle of forests would be so wrong. Wait, they were supposed to be in stony shores? Okay, yeah, that honestly, I uh, that doesn't feel right to me either. I can't, I get that. I get that. I, I thought they were going to be in like the ice peak area. I thought they were going to be in the, in the ice peak area. So I, I kind of get that. You know what? That's... That's not as cool as I thought. Not as cool as I thought. Whoa, more TNT. Let's go. Amethyst blocks I might keep on me for now. Yeah, all of this random stuff. Too much random stuff. I need, I need organization today. We will make this right, chat. We're going to do some cozy, cozy... Fixin' fixin' uppin'. <laughs> uh TNT. Let me make a little bit more of this. Boom. We got six. That should be good. Spore blossom! Good call. Let's see if I have one. Really quickly. The see the armadillo. I, I mean, I guess if people go walking around with their dogs, it won't be entirely useless. But the penguins, see, the thing is, I still I still use my boats, though. I still do use them a, a lot. The, the spore blossom's a great idea. We're going to we're going to put one of those in the atmosphere. Oh, the little snails, the snails in modded are so cute. I'm obsessed with them too. Honestly, if, if we got some snails, I would not be mad. Oh, look at that. Look at those little particles. That, that's the way. That is the way. Amazing. Okay. Oop. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was not me, but it was. It was me. 
what if I like, okay, let's say like seal this off. We can kind of have like a little rail that goes down, you know what I mean? With like a mine cart or something. Something like this. And then I'm so afraid of accidentally lighting this TNT. I'm like, should I make like, you know what? I'm gonna break this for a second. I feel like some of this should be like exposed amethyst in the side of the wall. I think that could look really cool. You know? Lisa! With the 15! Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. Can I get some big, big, big swags in chat for Lisa? Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. This is a small gift to say how proud I am that you're actually going to work on the organization, Winks. Oh, thank you so much, Lisa. I really, really appreciate it. It's very, very kind of you. Yeah, I think, I think we, uh, we've got some time today. We might as well, we might as well work on it, you know? That's what I love about these streams, especially on like, um, cause right now I am not working on the next video at the moment. Cause I have been working on X life and the cozy stream or the cozy long plays. So I do have some time to do like some random stuff around the base, which has been like very beneficial. It's been really nice to be able to kind of just like hang out in this world and work on like some side projects and like stuff that needs doing. It's really helped. Have some exposed amethyst like this. Okay, I do have an amethyst geode close by. However, I don't have silk touch on my pickaxe, but I do have it on my shovel. Do you think I can take some of those thingies with my shovel? Probably, right? Probably. Yeah, I think something like that could look really cool. Just like exposed little bits of amethyst. I think it has to have like basalt around it though. All right, chat. Should we take a quick little break? Um, we have been live for almost two hours now, so we should all stretch our legs if you need to. Grab uh, grab some water, a snack. I'm going to go grab some more water because I'm all out, I just realized. We will be back in a couple of minutes though, okay? BRBs.
Hello. All right. I had a granola bar. I had some water. And I'm ready to go. All right. So I'm thinking we should get some of those like amethyst crystals, the shards. I tried that and it worked with your silk touch shovel. Okay, I might try it out as well. I think that would look super cute, you know? Also, I can't forget, I need to fix this. Whatever this is, that's not looking good. Uh, we could just do... Uh-oh. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen if I did that, but I did it anyway. It's fine. It's all good. I can just do that. It's simple. And then let's go get some shards. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Buttons as pebbles could look cute too. Do we have, can you make deep slate buttons or that's not a thing, right? Significantly colder on. Oh, no, it's that cold season. It's that cold season. I am all, I'm all bundled up. I swear like last week I was just like boiling in my office and now I'm like so cold. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have an axolotl that we have to do something with too. PTA, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, winter's winter's coming. Okay. Let's go get some of this stuff. I have I only have a shovel that has silk touch, but hey, we'll make do. We'll make do. We will make do. Ah Fave colors. Fave colors. What's my favorite color? Green. I'm always I'm always all about the greens and the blues. Wee. I really torched this up. I was in the beginning when I didn't have any armor in like the second episode, second or third, was it? I'm jealous of, strange, of this strange cold weather you speak of. Oh, yeah, I, I'm see, I'm, I'm the type of person that does not do well with heat. So I, I feel that I feel that. Hey, it works. Look at that. Look at that. I asked because Twitch now allows you to simulcast on a uh, platform at the same time. Yeah, I did actually hear about that. I heard they made that announcement the other day, which is actually very interesting. I don't know if that's something I would ever do, to be honest, because like I think about it, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't I don't know if I could if I could personally like manage two chats at once. I feel like my attention would be so divided that it my brain would scramble. I'd have to ask some friends about it, but that's that's one thought that I've had. I'd be like, I don't know if I'd be good at that. <laughs> Do I watch Demon Slayer? No, I haven't seen that before. Is that the one that's on Netflix? Do I sh hear the Shovel Destroyer 9000 calling softly in the distance? Oh, not the shovel destroyer. So funny. Every time I log on to Castaways, I look at it and I shudder. Absolutely shudder. Oh, how do I even get back up? What did I do here? What did past drift do here? Pillar up. And I'm going to do it again. <laughs> there we go. Two different discussions at the same time. Exactly. Exactly. It definitely has its benefits, but I was like, for me, I I don't I don't know if my brain could handle that. Do I have a PO box? No, I don't. I've looked into getting it, be, getting one before. I might do it eventually. You lost a three month long world, but don't know what uh, to. I'm not feeling motivated at all. But should I make a new world? Oh, I'm so sorry you lost it. If was it corruption or something that happened? I honestly, I 
just like i feel that pain i'm so sorry you lost that that's a lot of progress and like just like that's just a lot honestly i if i if i were you i think i would like if you're not ready to ease back into it yet maybe wait or just maybe try if you if you want to just try to start a new world you, you never know right but if it's not like if it doesn't feel like it's the one you can you can always kind of like make it a short-term world you know just to like kind of like mess around in and have fun fun with until you find the one that is like the one the world that you want to continue in sometimes it takes a while i swear like i've had times where i don't know some worlds just don't feel like they're it you know oh drift oh sev what's up stinky did you finish your long play is it all done it was corrupted you were halfway through a city build oh my gosh i feel so bad for you i feel so bad i've had a world corrupted before luckily i had a friend who was able to get it back i was very very fortunate um without like i lost my stats like day counts and all of that stuff but i i don't even care like i was just like i don't even care about that in the end it really doesn't matter but i feel for you i feel it's so rough there we go i think that's good and then hi ruth ruth is screaming at me Ruth, what are you what what are you yelling at me for, huh? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Alright, let's get like oh, just one minecart. One minecart. <clears throat> one TNT. TNT minecart. And then let's place some like random blocks around here. TNT blocks. And then let's just like leave this guy here. And then we'll have it kind of like closed off, if that makes sense. I think that's kind of cute. It's like a cute little feature. There. <laughs> it's random, but I like it, you know? It's just like a, a random little, little section. I like that. That's really cool. I want to do something with the axolotl, though. I don't know where to put it. I don't know where to put this axolotl, chat. We need like a little pond for it, but I'm just like not sure where it should go. Have something I would like to send to you. Help with the cold. Don't want to know where you live. Have a place I could send it to you. Um, I don't really have anything at the moment, though. I appreciate you thinking of me, though, for that, though. Thank you, though. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a P.O. box or anything at the moment. It might it might be something that I'm going to look into on the, for the future, though, because we've had a couple of requests with that. But as of right now, we don't have anything. I appreciate that, though. Do I play Minecraft on mobile? No, I don't. I don't. I play on Java. Okay, let's get these. Boom, boom. That can go back. Oh, I should have collected the water. What was I thinking? So we have an axolotl that we need to do something with. I don't know where I should put it. I mean, I guess I could turn this into a pond if I want. You know what I mean? Finish a long play. I'm very scared to have people listen to my cringe mumbling. It's not cringe. I am sure it's so good, Seb. I'm very excited to listen. Very, very excited. Okay, I love this, though. I'm very, very happy with it. I almost feel like the axolotl pond should maybe, like, go at the end here. Do you know what I mean? Like, maybe, like, right here. This could be, like, a dugout spot where it's like, oh, we came across, like, a cute little lush pond. You know what I mean? Something like that. So we have something at the entrance that's like really cute. And then we have something like throughout the middle here. It's kind of the vibe, I think. Also, Sev, I'm so excited to watch. I, I love watching like anything that's like a longer let's play, a commentary long play, because it's just like somebody's conscious like stream of thoughts, you know? I find it to be like super, super interesting. I, I love watching content like that. 
They remind me also of like very traditional, like old school style Let's Plays and stuff too, which I love. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe like a little lush, just a little lush area right here. Just dig this out. I have to make sure this is closed off. We can have like a bunch of, um, it's gotta be two blocks deep. Otherwise axolotls, like they risk drowning, I believe. They're very, um, they're very clumsy. Let's do that. I'm thinking moss. I'm gonna need some more moss. Did I get rid of the bone meal? I totally did. I totally got rid of all the bone. Oh wait, no, there's some left. That's perfect. Perfect, that's all I need. You crochet, you have a beautiful lap blanket. Uh, it's made so you can work at the computer and office chairs so it shouldn't get into the wheels. Oh, that's so nice. That's awesome. Uh, crochet like blankets and stuff and quilts. Is there like, I swear that there is literally like nothing, nothing warmer than a quilt. Like, what is that? Why are quilts so warm? Like no type of blanket compares, it's wild. There, I think that's good. Then we gotta make this look a little bit more like cave-like. We gotta add some like, some roughness to it, you know? Add some like stuff here, here. I think that's looking pretty good. I gotta fill this with water now. That's the trick. So this will be like a little axolotl sanctuary type thing. Does it have to be like all the way up too high though? I feel like it might have to be. I don't, I just don't trust them. You know, I really don't trust the axolotls. They get themselves into trouble. If we have this little square here. Oh wait, that's bedrock. I can't mess with that. Oh my gosh. We can do something like that. And then maybe give the back a little bit more shape. Something like that. That'll work. You won't really notice how like square it is, I guess. We're just gonna have to go get more water cause I kind of messed up our little water area. I'm gonna make one more bucket though, I think. Hold on a second. Cause I wanna bring the water source close to me. We also have kelp, which is helpful for like making the water all smooth and stuff. How do you know how to go live? There's like a go live button. It's not the create one. There's like a, an actual live button that you have to press on YouTube to set it up. Maybe capture some live cave spiders and bring them to your mine shaft. Sev, how could you? You know what? That would actually be kind of cool. Why am I trying to sleep right now? What is going on? It's like midday and I'm like, I need a nap. I play on bedrock too and um, the inventory is so much better, plus you can place blocks in the air in front of you, so no falling. Wait, what? What's- wait, what is the inventory management like on Bedrock? Oh, they can't be out of water for too long. I see, I see. The art and photography on the Discord. Oh, that's so pretty. The color combo is so nice. That's like, that's kind of like, that. that's like Minecraft colors. I love that. I had to leave for a bit for a meeting, so I missed a bunch, but it's looking so good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I think it's looking pretty cool. 
I'm glad you guys are liking it too. And also, good morning, Michael. Hope you're having a good one. It's awful. Oh, it's the same. Bedrock is all storage monsters too. Am I not the only one, guys? Am I not the only one? Okay, let's go back down. Let's make ourselves a cute little axolotl pond. Yeah, this is this looks so much better. I can't believe we transformed this. Wow. Okay, well, if the axolotls are going to be fine, I'm adding some definition to this. <laughs> They'll be fine. Nothing bad could ever happen, right? Nothing bad is going to happen. Oops. There we go. They can deal. They can deal. Oops. Okay, I should be able to easily do this now. Wee. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, they're gonna love it. Okay, we just need some glowberries now. I'm thinking some um I'm thinking some glowberries. And maybe some leaves. A lantern or two. Maybe a little bit of amethyst. Just 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 a little bit, you know? Did I bring the glowberries back upstairs? You know what? Not to fret though. Look at that. Look at that. Nice and easy. Easy peasy chat. I had such a storage issue. Oh my god, you don't want to know. I do want to know. What what was this storage issue like? How bad was it? Was it as bad as mine? <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> oh. I love how I love how we all have storage monsters, clearly. Well, a few of us do. I don't know why I did that. I didn't need that many. There we go. Just get a bunch of glowberries in here. And then maybe we could do like a little little amethyst moment up here. Something like this. Something, just a little pop, you know? Oh, this is cute. Now this is cute. Okay. Then I do want to fence it off. I, I just don't want him getting out. So I think what we'll do is we'll do something similar to like the TNT area, but cute. You know, like this is dangerous. This, 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 this area is just going to be dangerously cute, you know? Dangerously cute. Wait, stop playing on bedrock. I left my chest monsters there behind. They're still there. Sev, please take pics. I want to see. That's hilarious. Okay. Here's our little, like, enclosure. Oh, yeah, a little lantern. I forgot about a lantern. Maybe right there. And over there. There we go. Cute. Okay. All right. Oh, let's name them. Let's name them first. All right. All right. <clears throat> what should we name the axolotl? 7.30 p.m. where you are? It is... Right now it's 2.30 over here. Bone meal always coming in clutch. Honestly, skeleton farms are amazing. I had barrels for decor and kept placing more just for storage. Listen, they're great storage as well. Decorational item first for me, storage second. All right. Should we do a quick little poll chat? Should we do a little poll? I'm going to, I'm just going to take a look at what you all have said. I'm going to start a poll. I'm going to pick a couple names.
I'm just trying to pick like random ones. <clears throat> All right, I picked some random ones. Refresh if you don't see the poll, but there's three choices. <laughs> right away, Perry, Perry. All right, here we go. Here we go. We'll let the poll run for a bit, chat. We'll let it run for a bit and then we'll decide. Also, chat, just a reminder, if you're enjoying the stream and you haven't given it a like yet, if you want to throw down a like, I would definitely appreciate that because it really helps the reach on these streams. <clears throat> okay, looks like, yeah, looks like Perry's, Perry's winning. Looks like Perry is winning. My big axolotl plush is called Lottie. It's such a cute name. So cute. These are all great, though. These are all great. Chat, y'all, y'all always come up with the best names. You really do. All right, I will give the I will give the vote a couple more, a couple more seconds. Get your votes in if you haven't voted yet. Get your votes in if you have not voted yet. Only a couple more seconds left. I'm gonna count down from five. Five, four, three. Two, and, oh wait, no, this, this is like, no, oh, they, they're tied, they're tied, somebody, okay, people gotta break the, I'm gonna let this go for another, I don't even know, 15 seconds, because we have a tie right now, get your votes in, we have a tie, chat, this is, it is usually never this close, this is wild, we're gonna we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make sure that this tie is broken. It's still both at 37. What is going on? What is going on? This is like the most indecisive poll we've ever had before. Alright. Alright. Three, two, one. Oh, this is still at 37! They're both chat! What is happening? Okay, I gotta go to bed quickly. I've gotta go to bed. This is hilarious. I've never seen a chat I've never seen a poll move like this. Okay, I'm I'm going in I'm going into my bed quickly. As soon as I wake up, I'm ending this poll. As soon as I wake up, I'm ending this poll. So get your votes in. Get your votes in. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god. I I honestly, I honestly thought Perry. Perry was gonna win. I really did. It was that one was like top for a while. Lottie won. Lottie won. All right. So we got our axolotl, and we are gonna name it Lottie. I think I can name the bucket. I think we did this last week in our other world. Lottie the axolotl. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating in that poll. That was very close. That was very very close. It's giving Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, it is. It really is. That's a great name. Great name. All right, let's give Lottie their new home. Make sure that, yep, there it is, Lottie. Perfect. Oh, I feel like Lottie needs a friend. Do, do we go find Lottie a friend? <laughs> If we find Lottie a friend, we can name it Perry as the close second because I feel like I feel like both were like destined to be. Do we go find another axolotl friend and then we go organize our storage? Next one can be Perry. Exactly. I feel like we've got to do that for sure. Oh, before I go back up, let me just like add a couple couple things here. We need a little bit a little bit of life in this corner. So just a little bit. Oops. My bad. Did not mean to do that. Q. 
cute. Whoa! There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. And then we can have like a lantern here. Maybe get some of these bricks in here. This looks wildly different now, chat. This looks really good. It's looking fantastic. I think we've done a really good job of it. We've gotta we've gotta go find a new friend though. Yeah, we need a friend? Okay, let's do it. Drift procrastinating hard on sorting the storage. You know what, Sev? Don't, don't even, don't even. Yeah, we're procrastinating a little bit. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. We just have so much time. We still have so much time. We have so much time. We should we shouldn't bother just, you know, organizing. We've we've gotta we've gotta find another axolotl. We have to. <laughs> Where do you even find them? They're just like hanging around in caves, right? I feel like the best bet is the lush cave. What are the vibes for this Monday and how was your weekend? Oh, my weekend was fantastic. We, um, oh my gosh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot for a second what I did. We went to go see the, um, the Eras Tour movie and my niece was just living for it. My niece, she is so funny. She was literally like, like all, there was like a bunch of like people there who were like dancing at the front of the theater, which I thought was like so adorable that they like allow that. It was very sweet, very wholesome. So my niece, like she's a little bit younger and she was kind of like dancing, dancing with herself, um, just vibing. And then anytime we'd go up to her, she'd be like, my name's Taylor. And we were like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> all right. And she was like, I'm Taylor, call me Taylor. And we were like, uh, okay. And it was just so sweet. There was like um, a lot of people that were like a little bit older than her and they all gave her friendship bracelets and they were like, your dancing is so good. It was so wholesome. It was the sweetest thing. I, I actually wanted to cry because it was just so sweet. It was a fun time though. It was really good. I mean, like a big reason why I went was like tickets to the Eras tour were so impossible to get here. Like literally me, Big Tiny Duck, my sister, and I think my cousin, we were all completely waitlisted. I was pretty devastated, especially because like my sister and Big Tiny Duck are huge fans. So I went to go see the movie instead. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just go watch it. Rosella, welcome on in. How you doing? Happy to be able to catch another one of your very cozy streams. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Really appreciate it. I forgot. I'm gonna bring a crafting table. I'm also gonna craft another boat. So I wanna go over this way. I'm currently uh, vanquishing my chest monster so I can move on to preparing my Minecraft world for Halloween. Ooh, what are you doing for Halloween? I just really realized I did a big dumb dumb and forgot to make my Halloween video. I had the build plan and everything. Wait, you had a... Oh, I forgot about that, Sev. Do you still have time? Do you still have time? I mean, if not, you could always save it for next year, you know? As long as, like, the build, the build hasn't been built yet, you know? I went to the Eras Tour movie with my niece as well. She was over the moon and totally one of the kids rocking out the front. Oh, that is so sweet. It is actually so wholesome. And, like, honestly, like, I've heard a lot of people having great similar experiences where everyone's just, like, super happy to be there. And, like, it was so nice seeing my niece just, like, have literally the time of her life. Like... She was absolutely rocking out and it's a long movie. We were all like my my parents were there too and we were I don't get me wrong. I love Taylor Swift, but that was a lot. That's a it's a three hour show. And my my niece afterwards, she was like, I wish it was longer. And we were like, OK, like we're going home now. Oh, gosh. What's the Eras Tour movie? It's basically Taylor Swift's like Eras Tour concert, but like they released it as a film so people could go enjoy it in theaters. Cause literally it's like nearly impossible to get tickets to the actual show. So it's nice that there was that option. I went to watch the new Barbie movie and I started laughing when the war started and I was giggling and nobody noticed instead of my parents, I was in trouble. The, you know what? That movie's a fantastic movie as well. 
That's a great movie. You ready for your gray food? I already had my gray food. Canadian Thanksgiving was... Was it a, a couple weeks ago? It was a couple weeks ago for us. So that... I've already had it. It was so good. I had so much fun as well. I, I really love... Oh my gosh, why are there so many skeletons here? Oh my... They're all fighting each other. They're all fighting each other. Ow, no they're not. They see me. Oh. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna enter that way. I'm not gonna enter that way. I changed my mind. They're coming after me, bro. It's the only movie where people get up and dance and everybody just vibes with each other. No, for real. It's like, it's a completely different atmosphere. Like, I get it because movies, like, you watch them, right? But like, it's really cool seeing people just like actually like interacting with a concert movie. I could see this becoming more of a regular thing with like some of the bigger um, musicians. I could see people starting to like, come out with stuff like this. And I think it's a really cool idea. It's, it was super fun. You have to work tomorrow on Thursday. I've, I don't know if I can speed record and edit all Wednesday. Yeah, that's cutting it kind of close. I kind of forgot how soon Halloween is. I kind of forgot. Where's this lush cave? Oh. Here maybe? Nope, that's just... I might go to the OG one that I found. Because there was a big entrance here, but I just don't know where. We were uh, joking that um, every typical movie faux pas was totally accepted and encouraged. No, exactly. Like, literally, like, people's phones were out. Like, they were, like, <laughs> filming stuff, too. Like, it was good. Like, everything was just, like, completely out the window, but in, like, a nice, wholesome way. It was so funny. We noticed that, too, and we were laughing. It just made it made for a very enjoyable experience, though. Like, I had tons of fun. I, I would go again, honestly. I would absolutely go again. Wonder if ow. This is a risk. Nothing down here. Where are my lush caves at, huh? Didn't Hannah Montana and Justin Bieber both have concert movies? Did did Hannah Montana have one? Justin Bieber, he had um Did he have a concert movie? I don't remember. I remember he had like his, it was like a part documentary, part concert. It was the um, Never Say Never movie. I remember that because I literally went to go see it. <laughs> I went to go see that movie twice. I went to see it. I went to see the extended version that they released a couple like weeks after. <laughs> um, Yeah, that one, I remember that one was like part documentary. Hannah Montana, I, I I wonder if they did have a Hannah Montana movie, maybe. Gonna build that castle? I think we'll build a castle eventually. I think we will. I would like to. Castles are something that I'm not super good at and I'd like to be better at, you know? You've returned. Work, work took an hour longer than usual because you did not sleep last night. Oh, that is the worst. We were just like super tired, just slogging through it. I'm glad. I'm glad you're uh, glad you're all done, though. Glad you're all done. And I hope it went well, Moon. Yeah, I got to find I got to look for the azalea trees. I don't I don't remember where it was in that biome. I'm going to go to like the classic one that I found. Old Faithful. Do axolotls spawn in regular caves too? I don't remember. I'm like, am I being silly? Should I just like go into a regular cave, you know? No, we don't have an iron farm yet. That's definitely something I want to build soon. I would definitely like to get an iron farm. It's one of those things where like the first time I built one, I was like, why didn't I do this sooner? And now... I'm like beating myself up over it, being like, I should have gotten an iron farm. I should have done that like day four. 
Just lush caves? Okay. We'll go to we'll go to the classic one then. We're going to a lush cave right now so we can find some axolotls. Well, one. Everyone, don't. I, I, what was don't don't hate me for this. What was the name again? The second name that we were going to do? It started with a P. It wasn't Petey, right? Pete. I forget now. Why do I forget? I'm so bad with names. I thought iron farms were so hard, but I found um, Ian, Ian's uh, and it's so easy. You can literally set it up day one, uh, night one, if you'd spawn near a village. Yeah, I found one that was like, um, what's it, what's it called? I found one that was like kind of like a relatively easy one as well. And I, I literally, it was the same thing. I was like, why didn't I do this sooner? I really should have done it sooner. Perry, that's what it was. Thank you. It was Perry. Dating myself here, but first interactive movie I've seen was Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's a good one to see in theaters, honestly. That one's like a classic. Definitely a classic to see in theaters. I heard like those ones are still bumping too. Like they they happen quite frequently around the city here. There's a lush lush tree, I see it. Perfect. We just need to find an entrance now. Ah! Oh, that was scary. What's my favorite movie? I don't know. I don't know what my favorite movie would be. I, I just like a lot of things all the time. I feel like now I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it sounds like such a boring answer, though, but I'm like, I just like to watch a lot of movies and experience like a lot of different stories and stuff, you know? Kind of think like that's how I'm vibing as of late. Okay, I need... I know we're so close to this lush cave. <gasps> oh, pretty sure it's over here. Good old Perry. Good old Perry. Chat, chat. I don't know where my lush cave entrance is anymore. I lost it. I lost it. Oh, it's in here. Please. Someone save me. It's glow lichen. I honestly might just start. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I'm going to start digging straight down if we don't see it soon. Okay, here's something. We're just gonna dig down. Dig straight down. If Minecraft would be deleted, what would you do? I don't know. I really don't know. Honestly, this is the first game in a long time that is really like, <laughs> really uh, made me as obsessed as I am with this game. Like. I really don't know the answer to that. This this game just just is just perfect. Okay, I need to catch my bearings. Where am I? Okay, we're we're getting close. We're getting close. Same for food. I can't pick my favorite. I like a bit of uh, action, romance, and s sad and spooky. Yeah, I honestly, I'm like, just give me anything. I'm op like, it's the same thing with like musical taste now. I, I kind of like any genre at this point. I'm like, a good song is a good song. You know, I can appreciate it now. Not now. I can pr appreciate it all. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, we hit it. We hit it. We're good. Axolotls. Hello. Hello. No axolotls. What the? There's got to be one somewhere. I know they can be hard to hear as well. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a bunch over there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, okay. Which one? Which one? Do we have a pink one right now? Do we have a pink one or no? I forget. I feel like this is a parry. This is totally parry energy. There we go. Moon, what the five? Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Can I get some big, big swags in chat for Moon? Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. I need a book of coordinates. Also, I lost the game. Wait, you lost the game? Also, yeah, I do need a book of coordinates. I think for now what I'm gonna do is this. Save it as a screenshot. We need a coordinates book though, for sure. I'm gonna grab some small drip leaf over here. And also somebody mentioned spore blossoms. That's also a good idea. I think we only have like three left. Like at this point, should I just be grabbing more axolotls? You know what I mean? <laughs> just grab them all. <laughs> we, have, we have three more to name. Get over here. Come on. There we go. We got three. We got three to name. Okay, I'm gonna grab this spore blossom here. There's a couple right here, actually. This is ideal. Look at that. We got plenty of moss at home. Really, what I could use is a little bit more drip leaf, for sure. The small one, though. Specifically the small one. That one's my favorite. We can also put some of this in the axolotl sanctuary that we have. So I guess we're doing three more names instead of uh, just Perry. We had two spores left after the mine shaft. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely grab these ones. There's lots over here. Then I think that's pretty much all we need. I don't want to go too overboard. Come on. There we go. Spore blossoms are awesome. Why are there so many here? Oh my gosh. So many. Hope you had a fantastic day today. Thank you so much, Logan. I appreciate it. I hope you have as well. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate that. Oh, scary. Whee! All right, we've got seven spore blossoms, five drip leaf. Is there any more? There's probably a couple more around there. That is like zombie city over there. There's a couple more little guys right here that we can grab and then we can be on our way. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see what we can get with all of this stuff. And then we're gonna head back and we're gonna name the other two. We will name the other two. Ow. Oh, great. Where did I come from? <laughs> I don't remember where did I drop down from. Oh, here. Where is it? It is... Oh, it's literally right here. It's like in front of my eyes. Oh, I see. I just got to like pillar up because this was a little bit. I'm gonna have to mark the location of like the entrance too. Yay, we did it. Ah. Well, I named one Roberta. We're gonna do a poll. We're gonna do a poll for the other two. Sunflower. See, y'all are coming up with the best names. You're all coming up with the best names. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it as a poll. 
Definitely as a poll. We're gonna we're gonna let the poll gods decide. AKA all of you, because you are the poll. Oh, Blossom's a cute one too. Keep keep these keep these in your mind, chat. Don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. Cause in like five minutes, however long it takes me to get back home, I'm gonna say, hey. Those names, I need them. And you're gonna have to remember them. Also, chat, just a reminder that if you are enjoying the stream and you wanna throw down a like, I would definitely greatly appreciate it. It really, really helps out the streams. Where are we going? Ow! Gotta go this way. All right. All right, all right, all right. Ah, yes, this looks familiar. Oh my gosh, that is, I'm not jumping down there. I'm not jumping down there. You can't make me. Can't make me, man. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh, this is the cave entrance I was looking for. Okay, well, too late now. Because I found a better one. <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't. Oh my gosh, help me. This area has like the most rough terrain. It's wild. There we go. Okay, we're on the home stretch now, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Wow, it's already three o'clock chat. Where has the time gone? Where has the time gone today? We built out a really cool little area though. I'm happy with it. Yeah, don't 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 spam the names. We'll we'll get to the names in a second. We'll get to the names in a second. We'll be we'll be home soon. Don't spam the names yet. We'll we'll be getting to that. Just gotta give me a second to get home. Yeah, don't don't spam the chat. You can you can you can cast your vote fairly afterwards. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. What a difference this field has made. What a difference it's made. All right, let's go home. Let's get to our anvil. I might have to make another one, actually. This thing has seen better days. So we got Perry. And then we're gonna name the other two. It's so stunning. Thank you. Honestly, it has transformed the area so much. Like, it makes it feel more enclosed now. And, like, now I can kind of picture where more builds are gonna go. You know what I mean? Okay, this one's Perry. All right, yeah, do not spam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some names out. I'm gonna scroll. All right. Poll has been started for axolotl number one. This is going to be our other yellow one, I think. Let me just double check. Let me just double check. 
I'm gonna drop it in the water quick. I have to be swift about this though. Very swift. Okay, that's the pink one. Oh no. No, you can't be a resident. You can't. Okay, so the pink one is gonna be up there. We got a yellow one. This is this is gonna be for the yellow one. Or actually, well, well, Barry would be good for the pink one. I guess it depends on uh, <laughs> on which uh, which which one we get. All right, chat. I'm gonna give you all twenty more seconds to vote. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Twenty more seconds, and I'm gonna stop the poll. Get him in. It's a it's a close one. It is a close one. Infinite Swift. Love it. Love it. All right. Three, two, one. Berry one. All right. So I think I think it makes sense to name the pink one Berry. Tbh. I mean, like that's a missed opportunity if we don't. So let's do Barry. Gigi's Barry. Perry, Barry, and last one. Last one. I threw a curveball in this one. Zion, you kind of inspired me for this one. So the last yellow axolotl is gonna be either Sunflower, Sunny, or Jerry. Cause then it'll go with Perry, Berry, and Jerry. Oh, Larry would have been good too. <laughs> Jerry, oh, come on chat. I should have, I should have expected it. I should have expected it. We're all the same. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Yeah, Coco, Coco won't make sense for uh for this dude. I am I'm crying. Yeah, we're all what a what a what a what a move. Honestly, this does not surprise me for my chat though. We are all the same. All right, I think it's like almost a clear winner. I'm gonna give you all ten seconds to vote. Ten seconds to vote, but I think that. This is this is a clear winner. We will end the poll. Damar, welcome on in. How you doing? Okay, Jerry. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. We've got our axolotls ready to go. We've got a little axolotl sanctuary now, chat. Look at that. Just a small one. Just a small one. But hey, it's something. All right, welcome in Barry, Perry, and Jerry. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. GG's. GG's. Look at them go. Look at them go. They're all so happy. Cute. Can I add some drip leaf here, do you think? I think so. I'm just gonna break this open. I don't trust them. They're gonna they're gonna get fenced in again. Cute! There we go. Coco's watching in disappointment. I am sorry. I am sorry, Coco. All right. Now that we're done that, we've, we've got some business to, to attend to. We got a little bit of business to attend to. We need to fix up our storage. So I'm going to fix up um, the area up at the house. I think it's only right that we do that. There's a... Wait, what? Commotion?
What time do you stream on Twitch? I stream at 12 p.m. EST on Twitch on Fridays. Okay, so we're going to have to fix all of this stuff up. This is looking pretty bad right now. Even I can admit to that. I want some... Do I want spruce for the signs? I feel like I do. Spruce is like easily readable, if that makes sense. I think I have some spruce over here, though, still. We have to use clay for drip leaf? Oh, like to, to put it on? That's weird. We can, I think you can use clay and also moss. Maybe dirt? I'm not sure. Not too sure. Okay, I need sprucies. Ah, oh, perfect. So much. Your house should have a rug by now? I don't even know if I have one. I actually don't know if I have one in here. You know what we need? We need a sheep farm. We really do. I'm still on. I am indeed. I am indeed, Toots. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're just doing some, like, chill organization now. Um, we got a bunch of axolotls. We finished up the mine, the mining outpost. You always want spruce. Of course I do. Of course. It is the, the block, the block of choice. Okay, I'm gonna start making signs. Just a bunch of them. Best part is now in 120, you can edit them, so. So this one wood um i would call this like various stones wait what would you call like granite gravel all that stuff i would i would say it's like various stones but i don't want it to be confused with like cobblestone and stone two in the morning already no worries i hope you have a good night thank you so much for hanging out i appreciate it hope you have a good one. Oh, there's an event happening i see cobblestone and stone that's what i'll call it that, that'll be the differential thing how many hours until the live is over i would say that we're probably going to be live for another like at least like half hour to 40 minutes This is, hmm, these need to be like reorganized. I think like what I want is maybe a barrel full of leaves. Cause I use so many leaves. Leaves. And then I need one for flowers specifically. Then we're gonna move stuff out of here and I think this will be like a sapling chest. More stones, yeah, more stones. <laughs> stones two. <laughs> stones, stones part two. Bigger, badder, more stone. <laughs> Alt stones. Alt stones. I think I think alt stones and various stones. I think that works then. Welcome back, Hazel. Welcome back. Okay, this is gonna be like moss and lush cave. Can really hit me hitting hear me hitting my keyboard. <laughs> Sword of Chess Monster! Yeah, all of the redeems are happening right now. All of the redeems. Okay, I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing with these parts yet. This is gonna be like... Deep Slate. And... Tough. These are all the various dirt. 
various dirts. I'll just I'll just put dirt. It's just dirt. Dirt and grass. Yeah, we are one tw Oh, I keep doing I keep doing that. I'm like I keep forgetting I can edit it. There we go. You can. I was like, "Can I?" Yes. Stones, stones to stone versus predator, stones resurrection. <laughs> exactly. I almost watched um Alien versus Predator the other No, it was Freddy versus Jason I almost watched the other day. So funny. Um I'll take this stuff out, but I feel like this should be I do I need like an entire thing for copper? I feel like that's silly. I feel like this should be like a nether. Because there's so many things that you get from the nether, it ends up like piling up, right? Dies. This is like mob loot. I might move that. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think another thing is I just need more like big chests. Terracotta. Oops. Oh my gosh, Toots! With the 10? What the heck? Toots, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Can I get some big, big swags in chat for Toots? Enjoy your holiday next week. Keep up the amazing work, but I hope you enjoy your time off. Buy some ranch dressing on me. Don't forget. <laughs> Greatest content creator ever. Big Tiny Duck will not let me, li let me live that down because she came in right while that was being clipped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will absolutely buy some ranch courtesy of you. Thank you so much, Toots. I really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> big, big swags. Big swags. Too kind, too kind. It was lovely and cozy stream. Gonna get ready for class. No worries, uh, Rosella. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope class goes well for you. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. I'm crying. I don't know why that's so funny. Redstone. So I think the task at hand is to kind of like start moving some of the stuff over to where it actually belongs now, if that makes sense. Like we got leaves here, flowers, which means we're gonna have to like take out certain things, put certain things back. This is where it gets kind of messy, you know? That's okay. Maybe instead of a nether chest here, what I'm gonna do is like, sand and glass and then we'll get like the nether stuff somewhere else sand and where's the end button there it is there we go sand and glass moss and lush cave flowers saplings Copper can go in here. We're gonna have to move out all this mod mob loot. I should probably get some like chests here or something. Various stones, cobblestone. Okay, this is this is starting to make sense, right, chat? I think we're starting to get there with this. It's gonna make a bunch of chests. Some mud in there. This is a bunch of stuff that we found. Oh my gosh, look at all the TNT. I forgot about that. This is all the stuff that we found when we were doing, I think it was like the ocean monuments. We found a bunch of random stuff in there. 
I think it's when we were like looking for like sniffer eggs or something. All right, I think that's good. Chamber of Stones, Philosopher Stones, Prisoner of Stones. It's just all, it's just all stone. That's literally how your inventory can feel like sometimes. I have a giant window in my room that turns it into a greenhouse when it's sunny. I'm currently melting. Oh my gosh, we used to have that in our old apartment and I used to absolutely boil. I was like, it was so nice when it was like, a winter day and it was like covered by snow and the light was like perfectly scattered across our apartments but like other than that it was actually it was the worst i remember we hated it after a while copper i meant to move the nether stuff that is a problem there we go And then terracotta, I'm just gonna like take it out and then put it back in so it's more organized. Dyes are here. Hi, Ruth. In-game Ruth. Honestly, sounds the exact same as IRL Ruth, let's be real. Glass and sand can get out of here. Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this. What do y'all think, chat? What do y'all think? Are we getting there? Flowers, I feel like sugar cane can go under flowers, you know what I mean? I'm gonna need some, like a section for food. I'm gonna need more barrels, actually. I'm gonna make a couple more. I think we are getting somewhere, though. Cold enough to snow uh, here, I'm jealous. Yeah, I it's. I feel like it's slowly getting there. I think like once I'm back from my trip, it's gonna be, I'm a little bit worried because I'm leaving for my trip and I have a feeling that it's gonna be like, I don't even know. It'll, it'll be cold, but not super cold. So I'm not gonna bring a proper jacket. And then when I when I get back, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay, I'm gonna put like in here, I'm gonna put seeds. Yeah, let's do seeds. Or should I do wait a second? Seeds go here. So it's all like by all of the other like green stuff, you know? I think that'll make sense. Then this can be copper. Copper and then I gonna need food too. Food's important. Actually, food can go up here. I feel like copper, ores, iron, oi, iron, and then what, are, what should our last one be? I don't know. Figure that out. I usually put like hoppers and stuff under redstone. I don't know why, but kind of makes sense to me. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oops, E. I, why do I always do that? I always type in E. <laughs> Just had the strongest, strongest deja vu. Oh my gosh, deja vu e, like always freaks me out so bad. Okay, I'm gonna dump some of the stuff in here in order to like move other stuff around if that makes sense. You know, you got to make a mess to clean up a mess. Give you cookie. You, you give me cookie. Give you cookie. We were watching New Girl <laughs> the other night. Actually, well, not the other night. I've been watching that like 
every single night for the past, like, like, I don't even know, for the past, like, week and a bit. Can't stop watching it. Give me cookie, give you cookie. Give me cookie, give you cookie. Oh, oh my gosh. What a show. What a show. Oh, gems, gems. Ores is like kind of, yes, okay. I'm gonna call this one gems. So that's where like the diamonds, lapis and emeralds and stuff can go, I think. And then maybe like the gold and other stuff can go like here. I like that. IRL need a Ruth YouTube channel with a collar cam. Could you imagine? It would be the most chaotic thing in the world, Toots. I wish. I would actually think that would be so funny. If I could, if I could do it, I would. Please just punch. As for sugarcane, either flowers or food. Yes, exactly. I'm happy. I'm happy you're enjoying this. I'm having fun. I hope you all are like enjoying watching me sort this. It's it's actually very relaxing. Tried to build an item sorter, but lost my redstone in my chest monster. Oh my gosh, pain. You know what? Once you get the item sorter done, it's amazing. It really is. It helped me a lot, but I, I know that pain. You'll be back. No worries. No worries. Yeah, this is just a single player player world. This is not castaways. We're in our um chill survival world. Wayward, welcome, welcome. How's your lunch going? Your fave is Modern Family. I haven't watched Modern Family in a long time. I remember really, really enjoying it though. That used to be like a constant for me as well. Okay, seeds. Copper, you move over here. Seeds, you move out of here. Get out of here. I think I'm going to put mud with all the dirt, you know? I feel like that makes sense. I wish there was like an organized inventory button, like in the same way that Star like Stardew has that, you know, where it would just fix up this mess for me. That's all I need. That's all I need. Now you can have fun sorting on the Twitch world. Oh my gosh, that is a daunting task. I'm actually a little bit afraid of that one. I'm not going to lie, because that one, that one's gotten bad. You know what I mean? But hey, if you're all enjoying this, I actually would do it. <laughs> I'm just afraid you're, <laughs> you're not going to like it, especially for that one. This one is like a little bit more manageable, I think. But that one's like really bad. I'll just put the grass in here. There we go. Leaves, you go in here. Wood. I need like a storage bin or something too. Storage and work benches is it yes i think so so i'm gonna put like all of this stuff in there like any type of um like cauldrons just random stuff and then i can do i in castaways i did indoor and outdoor decorational which worked really well so maybe i'll do Actually, you know what? We don't really need that if we have storage and the other one. <clears throat> Cauliflower, rice, and Alfredo sauce with chicken. Oh, that sounds so good. That sounds really good. I really do like uh, cauliflower rice. We've been having to eat um, some like gluten-free alternatives because Big Tiny Duck uh, we're trying to figure out if she has a gluten intolerance, which we're pretty sure. And you know what? There's been some, like, good stuff. Like, some of the noodles that we found for pasta have been, like, really nice. OK, 
Okay, this is gonna be food. Food. Redstone can move. Um, I'm gonna do friendly mob loot. And then <laughs> evil mob loot? I don't know. Just mob loot. Maybe after we do... Weapons and tools. And then I think maybe like enchanting. Something like that. It's kind of random to have it by some food, but you know, you know what I mean. Get all this stuff out here. Enchanting. I would say like all this stuff is kind of like enchanting stuff. Clock? I would put that under redstone, I guess. I want this to be clay. Oh my gosh, I always do that. Clay and terracotta. So glad you're still streaming. Had to leave for an appointment. Nice to come back to this. Oh, I hope your appointment went up, went well. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're we're doing some organization right now. You know what? It's I'm enjoying this. I'm liking it. What isn't fun of watching Drift go out of her mind sometimes? Yeah, I feel like I'm just like completely in the zone right now. Watching you tidy up is good for my soul. I I'm so happy. This is pretty chill and even chiller for you, Drift, without the soundboard, which has been replaced with keyboard typing sounds. Yeah, <laughs> it's just so loud. <laughs> I need to get like a quieter, quieter keyboard. You should do a one block challenge. I do have a one block series, actually, uh, if anybody's ever interested in checking that out. I do have like the full movie and stuff posted, too, but. Yeah, it was it was a fun one to do. I don't know if I do one again for a while, though. Clay and Anne's got to be up top here. Yes. Terracotta. Yeah, we got the tools with the weapons and tools. And then I think we're going to have to get like an armor section eventually, too. I feel like armor could go in here, though. Like kind of like a wardrobe thing. I don't like having things super spread apart, but we do have more storage options in there if we need to. Like this could be like, I don't know, random adventure. What would you even call this? Adventure loot? Adventure-y loot. What did I miss? I had to leave for lunch. Uh, right now we are working on some just organization. We're working on organizing some of our storage here because I have a bit of a problem. Everything's really messy right now. Enchanted efficiency for coal. <laughs> really lights up those caves, you know? Ca cauliflower rice is so wet. Now I get that. You need to fry it in a dry pan, but you didn't have time today. So yeah, I, it, it's one of those things I feel like it's like sensitive to uh, cooking, you know? I feel like I got to do like an outdoor decorational TBH. I'll put stuff like this in here. You know what I mean? Even though it's like, yeah, of course I'd use this inside in my brain. Like that tells me it's like an outdoor item for some reason. You know, kind of makes sense. Q 
Keyboard ASMR, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I hope your recovery uh, goes well, Wayward. Really, really hope it goes well. I hope you're getting lots of rest. I store armor and spare tools in sleeping quarters. Yeah, why, did, like, why does that make sense? It just, there's something about it that like kind of makes sense. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad my thought process is working out. One of the most important things to add to a chest area, give yourself one chester barrel to put stuff to drop in quickly. Oh, that's smart, like a drop off box. Maybe I could put it up there, actually. I'd have to do a barrel. Actually, I'd want it to be reachable. Maybe it'll. this will be drop barrel. This is drop barrel. Okay. I like that. And then this one will be like indoor decorational. We're getting there. What am I fighting the dragon? I'm not sure. I never really actually truly had the intention to fight the dragon in this world. I've got to be honest. Um, I didn't know how long this series was run would run. And now I am kind of uh, reconsidering it because this world has kind of gone on longer than I thought it would. So it it's something I got to think about. Something I got to think about. Oops. Wool and carpet. You know what? This is already making such a difference. Oh, I didn't grab that armor yet. Hold on a second. Da, da. Where would I put like bone meal and stuff? I don't know. Saplings, leaves, flowers. One of these, I think. I just put it here. Friendly mob loot. Regular mob loot. This is what I'm looking for. Weapons and tools, I think I'm going to move. I think I'm going to do coal and um, charcoal here instead. And then we're going to move weapons and uh, weapons and tools up here by the bedroom. Weapons. Tools. I started work from home job training today. I'm grateful for it. It's something to tide me over until my streaming career takes off. Let's go. Let's go. Big, big GG's. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's go. Glad you found a, glad you found a good work from home job though. Very, very glad you found that. Where would you put snow outdoor stuff? That's a good question. I don't know. I feel like that would be like an outdoor thingy. It would end up having to be like its own chest. You put it in the ice box in the kitchen. That's smart. That's really funny. I love that, Ozzy. Oh, leave it to you. Leave it to you. The one food I like that everyone should try is a Nambian dish with porridge and tasty drink you put in the porridge sugar. You'll very much enjoy. I have not tried that before. It does sound good, though. Food and ice goes in the kitchen. Then I have a crafting area where I keep ores, metals, and wood and stones go under the stairs. Under the stairs, I like that. I like that. I always do a chest on the outside of the house with a hopper connected to another chest inside for quick drops, like a mailbox. That's so smart. <gasps> I love that. That is cool. I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these bows. Let's be real. There's so, I have so many right now.
I'm gonna have to get a garbage can, except I'm actually gonna have to make one properly, unlike in Castaways. <laughs> we don't talk about that. We do not talk about that. I guess friendly mob loot, the leads can go there, huh? <laughs> oh, jeez. I love the brushes. They look so cool. Armor can go in here. Saddle, more leads, food, charcoal and coal and all that stuff. Flint and steel will go there too. Mob loot, oops. You can go there, Ominous Banner. I don't know where to put music discs. I'm gonna have to find a cool spot for that. Just, like, put a record in there for now, I guess. And then... Bell. Outdoor. Mob loot. In here. I am very proud of this. Chat, I'm doing it. I'm organizing. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? I'm organizing. Look at me go. Look at me. Chat, watch this. Watch this. Look what I mean. Look, look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. Look at me. Got a lot of good books, actually. I love to have a barrel with a mangrove sign on it placed on top of a mangrove strip log then surrounded by mangrove pl planks so it looks like a red post box. Yes, the post box. So good. You want a rug? You know what? This area does kind of... We need a rug in the bedroom. We're going to have to do that after. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got big jokes? Oh, the shovel of shame. We cannot, we cannot talk about the shovel of shame. I tried so hard to figure out that, um, how I was going to work that machine. It just did not work. It didn't. I'm going to, I'm going to have to like do a full tutorial, figure out how to properly do it. And I, I'm going to make a comeback. I swear. Oops. Seeds do belong in there. My bad. One day chat. One day I'm going to make a comeback. Wow. Look at me go. Okay, we got seeds ones. Still needs to be fixed up. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Bob loot. Nether. There we go. Wow, big things are happening. Big things happening. Love to see it. Love to see it. Mob loot. Pretty much like almost done with this. I guess armor or shield maybe could go in here. Hope you have a lush holiday. I have to go and tell the parents about my second job. Oh my gosh, Ian, congratulations. You got, wait, you got a second one? Like on top of the one that you already got? What the heck? Toots, big, big congrats. Big congrats. Well, you have fun celebrating with your parents. Congratulations. I hope you treat yourself to something nice because you deserve it. That's awesome. That's amazing. And thank you so much. I If I don't see you on Friday, then I, I'll, I'll see you around then because I'll still be streaming on Friday. But congrats. That's awesome. Oh, part time. That's awesome. Big GG's, toots. Big GG's. Enjoy uh, telling your parents. I hope uh, I hope you all celebrate and I'll see you soon. One of my parents just parents got exploded by a creeper. I'm so sad. No. Um, I know somebody who has a couple of p spare parrots. You could uh you could you could contact Sev if you need. Sev might have a couple hanging around, you know? 
Oh, that is the worst. Creepers, I, I tell ya. I tell ya. How did I just get that orange dye recipe? What the heck? I already had that in there. That makes no sense. The shovel, the shovel destroyer was funny. The shovel destroyer was classic. It was so good. You know what? I'd, I'd do it again. I would do it again. Absolutely. Wouldn't trade it for a thing. That was probably one of the funniest things we've ever done. I was so sure that I was like, I don't, I don't even know what, actually, I don't even know what I was sure about. For some reason, I was sure of whatever, and I decided to do that, and it was a horrific mistake, and it was... Probably one of the funniest things that have ever has ever happened. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Look what I can do! <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh, Stuart. That's a that's a throwback. That is that's a that's a throwback. Why is why is Minecraft Ruth getting mad at me? Do you want to fish or something? Like, what's going on here? Hi. You want to fish? There you go, buddy. Even Minecraft Ruth has, like, attitude. It is the funniest thing in the world. Okay, I think that's all cleaned up now. Chat, I think we did it. Minus this spot right here. That's wild. Adventure loot. Oh, oh, Ruth, I hear ya. I hear ya. This looks really good. Really good. I don't know where to put TNT. I guess like weapons? That's kind of a weapon, isn't it? <laughs> like, I don't know. Guess so. Like, I don't even know where to put boats either. Well, this like turned out pretty good. So we've got all of our coal, charcoal, enchanting food. All of this stuff seems, oops, pretty organized. Look at that. Oops, I keep hitting that. That's the one problem with, like, the 120 sign update. I always hit it to edit it. That looks pretty good, though, doesn't it? Nice! Like, this might need some organization, but I'm not, like, too worried about that. I wonder, is it nighttime? I think it's nighttime outside. I can grab a couple things. Put the hopper back in with the redstone? I don't remember. Where did I put the hopper? Did I put it there? I think so. Oops. Oh yeah, we gotta get a carpet. We gotta get a carpet now. I'm gonna make some dye. We'll we'll dye some uh some carpet for sure. Yeah, we're still streaming. We're gonna go on for a little bit longer. We're pretty much done our storage overhaul, which is awesome. That that was very, very satisfying. Very satisfying. <laughs> You just adopted two kittens? Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Aw. What are their names? That's so cute. Kittens are great. When Ruth was a kitten, she was like a menace, but in the best way possible. Wouldn't trade it for the world, TBH. It was incredible. I mean, she's still incredible. She's great, but that was just so, f she was so funny. She was wild. She had so much energy. I usually keep a travel chest near the door with extra boats, crafting tables. Oh, that's smart. Maybe I'll do a travel chest then. I like that. I like that very much. Let's sleep really quickly. Looking so good. No, thank you. Thank you all for 
for that. That, that I'm happy we got to that today. I hope uh, I hope you all enjoyed just the chill organization. You put them in with wood since they're made of that. Yeah, that makes sense too. That definitely makes sense as well. I might do like a travel box though. I like the travel box idea for sure. Start moving some of this over as well. Yeah, kittens are wild, like so wild, so high energy. There were like times like Ruth would like hang off of our curtains and stuff. It was wild. And if, if she elicited any type of reaction, she would do it again. So we had to like kind of be like, I do not see it. I remember we couldn't have a Christmas tree up when she was first a kitten because of course she would like climb on top of it. She would like pretty much climb the tree. We had to take it down. It was like a it was a fake Christmas tree anyway. But, oh my gosh, we were like, what the? Absolutely wild. She was a wild gal for sure. Oh wait, this is how you dye it. Do I have any other types of... What do I have? I have flower... Which flowers? These ones? Should be fine for dye. Let's get a nice warm rug in our bedroom. There we go. Enjoy, Ruth. My kittens are sweepy and fluffy. They're litter mates. Their mama is a stray who's blessed with uh, the neighborhood with 20 kittens. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Oh yeah, if they're litter mates, like BFFs, you know? Best friends forever. That's awesome. Oh yeah, the adventuring barrel that I need. Hold on a second. Adventure items. Perfect. Adventure, and then boats can go in there. Amazing. Amazing. Are you welcome on in? How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. How long before we get Ruth cam? Ruth was actually, she, she made a little appearance on uh, Twitch the other day, actually. She hasn't been on uh, cam as much lately. She's always sleeping when we're streaming, but every once in a while she pops up and... She just causes chaos. It's so funny. She's such a funny cat. Absolutely wild. She has a she just has a mind of her own, let's be real. I have a one-year-old as well, so def no Christmas tree this year. Oh my gosh, yeah, no. <laughs> You're definitely gonna have to hold off on that one, eh? <laughs> my mom told me that when I was, uh, when I was just like a little toddler, I would literally, like, make a dash for the Christmas tree and just whip all of the Christmas ornaments onto the ground. <laughs> Christmas tree is a cat's paradise. Exactly. Ruth went wild over it. She was like obsessed. She doesn't really try anymore. And we've also learned to like hide the ornaments up higher so she can't get to them because that was also an issue. And then once we did that, we were pretty much safe. But I'm sure she'll find another way, some way, somehow. I think one day she realized, it's funny, you could see her clock that one day she was like a little bit too, she had grown too much and she was too heavy to do some of those things that she did as a kitten. Cause she'd just like bail immediately and be like, what? Why can't I do that? It was so funny. We thought someone was breaking into our house at 2 a.m., but it turned out to be our cat absolutely murdering the Christmas tree. That would be so jarring. Ruth used to do stuff like that too, where it was like, 
the middle of the night and I was like, oh my gosh, somebody is in here. But it was just Ruth being a menace. Oh, is the link not working? I hope it does. If the if the link works, that's that's a Discord link. Thank you. Thank you, Azzy. I appreciate that. Tack the tree to the wall using a cord and decorate with cat toys. Hours of fun. No, for real. That's so funny. Love your videos. I've been following you for a pretty long time. Oh, Believer, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And thank you so much for popping into the stream. The link is invalid or expired. So weird. The link has been so weird lately. Let me get a fresh one. Let's see if this one works. That should work, I think. Yeah. Every time I keep refreshing it, for some reason, the link ends up expiring. I'm doing something wrong for sure. Put up a tree, but put guidelines so the cats uh, wouldn't be able to get into it. After they got used to it, they, they left it alone. See, that's the thing. They have to like, you're so right. They have to get used to it and just get kind of like bored of it. That's what Ruth does. Like sometimes something will like catch her eye and she's like, I need to play with this. But then eventually she just gets bored. The Christmas tree has definitely kind of become one of those things now. It's like one of those fixtures where she's like, meh, been there, done that. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Can't handle it anymore. My first drift stream. I'm so excited. Oh, Jamie's Jamie's. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. We are just vibing right now. We uh, organized all of our storage and it's it's doing pretty well. I think we did pretty good with this. I'm proud of it. The signs, I'm telling you, it's the signs. They help so much more than item frames. Like I... If you, I swear to God, if you watch me like side by side, organize stuff like here versus in my stream world that we have for Twitch, like it's the difference is wild. My boy's thing is the computer cords. He loves to get under our desk and get tangled in the cords and laughs hysterically when you pull him up. Oh my gosh. Oh. I love that. Watching your cat discover that gravity works on them is hilarious. Yes, that too. I swear, cats believe that they can truly do anything. And then watching them figure it out and be like, oh, it's just like, it's so interesting. <laughs> Ripping a fresh one. Yeah, there's a, I just ripped a fresh new link. One barrel down. Let's go so good you know what a lot has fit into this like tiny small space look at this look at this are, are you all proud of me are you all proud of me the next the next job is uh is the stream world that we have that one's gonna be a doozy though but you know what i think after doing this one i'm like we can do it we can totally do it oops It's not impossible. So proud. Let's go. Let's go. You're off to find a stronghold. Good luck. And if you beat the dragon, GG's. Big GG's. Kickback club. Love it. Heck yeah. Me and Blockdown, uh, that's like a paired Discord server that we made about over a year ago now. So it's mine and Blockdown's Discord server. It's been, it's been a heck of a good time. Heck of a good time. A lot of like really, really lovely people in there. Three barrels down. Oh my gosh, we can just clear all of these pretty much, you know? Look at that.
That was a weird conversation, was it? Weird good or weird bad? Look at us go, look at us. Yeah, we can actually see the flower garden now. Can I sleep yet? No. Flowers. Oh man, see our flower bin. Oh wait, there's a sapling in there. Oh <gasps> no. Flower bin is getting very full. I mean, that's that's a thing with living in like a flower forest, you know? That's one I might have to get like a double chest for eventually. The wood storage like needs to be fixed because it's just like so much random stuff right now, but that's okay. I honestly might end up eventually. Oh, you know what? I'm going to be expanding, I think, storage in this world, though. Oh, Ian. Oh, okay. That's an interesting conversation. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's that's exactly what I would say to it. Just oh. Uh, seeds, seeds, seeds. Where are you at, seeds? I've been lurking, gotta head to work. Love y'all, no worries, Charlie. Hope uh, work goes well for you. We'll see you later. Okay, there we go, there we go. Clay, you can actually go into the clay and terracotta bin. Yes. Now I can see how many crafting tables I've accumulated. You put bamboo in the woods chest for so it's that's so funny. You know what bam like that makes so much sense cuz like literally bamboo is like a wood type. For me, I still see it as like I usually use it as like um something to decorate with. I need to build with bamboo more often. I need to build a bamboo farm though. That's a thing. I need to actually build a bamboo farm. You have chests for each log type, then a chest for miscellaneous pieces as well. Yes, I have that in Castaways, and it's actually super helpful. I think with this minimal space, like, this will do for now, but definitely, definitely down the line, we're going to have to get, like, a spruce bin and all of that stuff, for sure. <gasps> Bricks. I'll put them with clay and terracotta. Let's be real. Okay. We're almost done here which is perfect. Tools, I would say that's a tool. Scaffolding. Oh no, come on. Come on. Don't don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me. Don't do this. Please. Please. Why are you being so mean? Why are you so mean? Why do you want to do this to me? They're hitting each other. Get out of here, bro. Get. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go drink some milk now that that's done. Jeez, cramping my style. I was on a roll here. Yeah, bamboo is a wood type. And it, and it burns in a furnace. For me, I still see it as like, I don't even know. I don't even know why. I see it as like um, <laughs> a flower. I think because I decorate with it only. Yeah, that was, that was super rude. Just waiting for verification. So if you hit the verify button, it should immediately, oops, E. It should immediately take you um into the rest of the discord if you hit the green button. How will we live after Castaways is over? Oh my gosh, I know it's start. We're we're in the period where it's gonna be wrapping up soon, and like I was thinking about that, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be so sad. 
It has genuinely, be, genuinely been such a fun time. Such a fun time. I'm gonna be real sad when it's when it's over. Yeah, that was a tall glass of milk. Oh my gosh, King, what's going on? So nice to see ya. How you doing? Love this world. I love this world too. It's it has um especially with this area, it's come such a long way. Such a long way. It's so funny. I just like I never I didn't even think I'd be like in this world for even this long to be honest. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I'm I'm happy we're still here. I always put the banners down where the battle took place so they see it and feel sad. <laughs> At this point, honestly, this house would just be covered in them. They're always, always bothering me here. Welcome in, Wood. How you doing? We are, we are organizing like crazy right now. We have some very, very, uh, very good organization going on. I'm very happy. It's been a long time coming. I don't know why I'm singing. I think because I'm just so happy about this. Iron. Amazing. Amazing. So much easier to read with these signs. Okay, we just have a couple more things in those chests and we're done. Can you please make more long plays with commentary? Well, so glad you said that because guess what? I have one that's done and I'm working on another one right now. So I'm going to be going away on holiday um, next week. And I have just filmed a bunch of those long plays. Y'all seem to really enjoy the first one, which I'm so, so happy about. So I've got a couple more lined up for you all. I do also have a movie lined up for this world. Don't know if I'm going to post it though, because um, it's just going to be like, I, I, I just don't know if I'm going to post it yet. I might wait till we hit a thousand days in a couple uh, months, or I, I might just post it then or early. I'm not sure yet. Undecided about it, but either way, I have a bunch of long plays lined up for you all while I'm gone. So very, very excited about that, that you guys have been uh, enjoying it. Just kind of catch up on chat real quickly. It always makes such a difference when you get your farming areas completed. No, for real. Why is farming, I feel like, the key to making your area feel more complete? For sure. It adds so much. Farming projects, I would say... I would say they're one of the more difficult things to do because they take a long time. You build a prison underground from then you decorate the inside with his banner. Mind he'll never again see the sun. That is evil. Evil. Does that stop them com from coming to visit though? Does it? Because that would be nice. I'm sick of seeing so many pillagers. You might set up a guest book at your spawn called the Welcome Inn for guests. And when I forget to link, uh, link to a bed, honestly, that's a great idea. Great idea. I love that. I had pillagers uh, waiting for me on the other side of my nether portal yesterday. I got the zombie, zombie piglins to kill them. I love how creative you all are with these pillager solutions. <laughs> You're more creative than I am. I've been good. Nothing much to update other than being a year older. Wait, was it your birthday the other day? Because if so, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you uh, had some good celebrations. You should get a group of streamers and do mine ba Minecraft Big Brother style where you're all on an island and build, but after a week, vote off one person. <laughs> that is actually such a good idea. I've seen Minecraft like Hunger Games before, but I'm like Minecraft Big Brother would be hilarious. I'm, I'm actually like a huge Big Brother fan. Really love that show. Although I actually kind of fell off watching the rest of um, this season for the US one because they kind of killed the momentum a little bit um, with one of the things that they did a couple weeks ago. But I, I love that show. It's a fave. That would be so funny. Can you do a spruce cabin with commentary soon? I might actually end up doing um, 
something similar to that. So once the fall stuff is done, I think what I'm going to be doing is uh, going back to our seed for the cozy long play. And I'm going to be doing the long plays from there with commentary for now. It won't stop the visits. It does stop the raids, though. OK, well, that's actually helpful then. That's actually helpful. Got to go back to work. No worries. No worries. Thank you so much for popping in. Your birthday was one to two weeks ago. You haven't caught a stream in a while. Well, happy belated birthday. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. I hope you had fun celebrating. So, so exciting. All right. I mean, like, I think we got pretty much all of our inventory sorted. Chat, that was that was great. That was awesome. I'm so happy we did that. Also, this looks so cool. Just like all of these little builds popping up and stuff. I can't wait to get more stuff over here. I'm like itching to get it done. Uh, when we get back, we're going to from vacation, we're going to really go hard on the chill survival uh, episodes once a bunch of other stuff is wrapped up on the channel. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be it for today's um, stream. We did lots and lots of organization. Let's let's uh let's go back to this quickly. Take a little look see at it. I'm very very proud. Actually, let's let's go. Okay, so this is all fine. This is organized. Let's go back to the mine shaft actually cuz if some of you haven't been here from the start, start of stream, what we started with was actually decorating out our mine shaft over here and it looks really cool. And we got some like axolotls and stuff in here. So, um, I'm going to be back on probably, well, in November, I'm gone for 10 ish days. I'll probably miss the stream on the 6th because that's, um, I'll be coming back around then. But maybe if I have time, because I'm, I'm trying to get ahead of schedule on videos, maybe what we can do is get a stream in that week on YouTube as well. And we can we can just do a stream later in the week or something. Depending on how jet lagged I am, it all depends. But either way, this is what we did today. So we've got our little TNT section here. We've got a decorated uh, strip mine, which looks super cool. I love it. Love it so much. It looks so different now. We got our little axolotl pond. We named all of them. Super cute love this area it is so cool so so cool absolutely love the world it looks so amazing you got such a wonderful style thank you so much jody i appreciate that and thank you all so much with all the cool ideas for this one this one was super fun to build today i feel like we just we just went wild with it favorite biome honestly i'm i'm classic i love i love a good forest with a river that's it forest give me forest Give me a river and I'm, I'm good to go, you know, and flower forest. I think that's a good one. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for today. I had so, so much fun. Um, there are going to be a bunch of uh, videos on the channel this week. We're going to do a lot of commentary long plays and stuff. Maybe keep your eyes peeled for a movie for this world and all that stuff. So I'll have content for you all while I'm gone. Um, but... Once we're back, we'll be, I'll try to get some streams back. I'll just be gone for a week, you know? I'll try to get some streams back on this after after next week. And we'll be back to uh, the chill survival world. We'll be hanging out in here or maybe castaways. Thank you so much again, everybody. I really appreciate it. I had so, so much fun today. And I'm happy I got a uh, stream in before I had to leave. So very, very excited about that. Hope you have a wonderful time in the UK. Oh my God, thank you so much. Honestly, I've been there before and I love it such a beautiful beautiful place but i've never been here this late into like the fall so i'm very excited it's already really cold in canada here so i'm hoping it's a little bit warmer there been amazing love you bunches thank you for the stream oh thank you so much azzy thank you so much i appreciate you appreciate you all thank you all so much again for all of just everything all of the super chats really really appreciate it the channel memberships all of that and just for hanging out today i had so so much fun you all take care uh, I will see you all probably in a week and a bit. Bye, everybody. Bye.